Welcome, welcome to the stream, everyone. Good to see you. It is snow time. It definitely is. Definitely lots of hype for the brand new series. And, uh, yeah, as you can see, there's no points. No points today. I know it's weird, isn't it? But there is something new called predictions. So we will do a lot of predictions today, and we'll see what you guys can wager and see what, if you guys are correct. And uh, we'll see what happens. It's going to be a little bit more of a sit back and relax stream as you watch me flail around and die. Um, or survive. You never know what's going to happen. But it'll be good to see what goes on. But it's good to see you, Nagas. Dre's this. Apocalypse. Welcome, welcome. Game Berserker. Definitely you guys are hyped. Uber Bagel's pogged about the no points, of course, of course. And Murph's obviously devastated for the no points. Uh, Apocalypse, good to see you. Superpower Belly, epic for the new run. Yes, definitely. Diagrin, good to have you. Polly's early Saturday. Love your con and all. But let me sleep, man. <laughs> Apologies. Apologies, my man. I'm sure the Sunday one will be a little bit more your time zone. But good to see you, Dennis. Happy to have you. And um, this is the American stream. Yeah, this is mainly the American stream. And I'm thinking of even putting it a little bit later because I have to wake up early. So I'm a little bit tired in the mornings. But, you know, I'm kind of okay for the moment. But welcome, welcome. What has he got planned for this time, says Nagas? I know, right? Snow, I made a cat friend, um, wandered over from the neighbor's house, seduced him with chicken, says Uber. I mean, that's the way to do it. That's adorable. Cat friends are the best friends. Uh, but yeah, good to see you guys. Only me on the first death, no death. Lol, 10 versus 2100. <laughs> I mean, the prediction's getting pretty strong. Man, you guys are really confident in my abilities. Interesting, interesting. I finally stopped buffering for the wide people. Oh, good to see you, gamers. It's good to hear it. Who needs to sleep when it's snow time? Exactly, exactly. You want to see confidence, says Murph? <laughs> how much is he going to put in? Well, you got to be... I wonder how confident you guys will be, because this is going to be pretty hard to do. I'll be very cautious, of course, because I don't want to die immediately. But, yeah, we'll have to see. Oh, there we are. There we are. That's 10,000, Murph, I think, putting in. That's very confident. My 11,000 says no. Hey, my... Hey, here's the thing. With predictions, it's a little bit of gambling. If you are correct with the prediction, you get a reward. If you are wrong with your prediction, I think you lose snowballs, if not all of them that you put in. So, you got to make sure that... um. You know what you're predicting. Uh, and no man can stop the snowman. <laughs> nice. Viewers in my area can only predict with you using snowballs, says <laughs> Dennis. <laughs> exactly. I was the highest voter, Murph. Why would you take this away from me, says Game for Zucker? Because <laughs> he can, that's why. Uh, hey, Spritzy, welcome to the stream, man. Good to see you. But welcome, welcome, one and all, um, to the Lone Wolf. And... As you guys do know, there has been a gigantic update for Legends and PTR, and we are on that today. We've got a few other little mods along the side of things. There's a few more in the works that I'm waiting for, so that's why we're doing Lone Wolf today. I was going to do a different run, but I've been waiting on a few little things to be fixed and uh, changed. So we're doing Lone Wolf instead as like an intermediate. And also a good introduction to the new mods, for sure. Um, Lone Wolf has been revamped, so if you guys know Lone Wolf start, used to be pretty hard, started with a Lone Wolf, all your friends would die, because, you know, you're pretty strong, you'd be recruiting guys, well, no longer you have to worry about that, because you no longer can recruit. You literally cannot recruit anybody in the Lone Wolf start. You are alone, but you are not alone forever, which is very interesting, because the only way you can recruit is encountering other champions through events to join your cause and certain interesting events. So that's how you can recruit, which will be very interesting. Um, if your lone wolf dies, the campaign ends, so obviously it's a, it's a player character. Um, can never have more than 10 fighters in your roster, so even if you are recruiting through events, you're still only going to have a maximum of 10. Um, all encounters are two-thirds harder than normal, and you start with a level 4 character. So, yeah. No, I have to win. Exactly. That's the thing. It is a four skull, four star origin. It is going to be rough. I am not going to sugarcoat it. I had little practices here and there and stuff. Um, the very first event, 
because I was playing with the dev tools and stuff. Um, the very first event where you get challenged, you will not win that. So if that ever comes to me, I am saying hell no. So I shall uh, wait until I'm stronger. Because I played that and I was like, oh my god. Uh, so yeah. Uh, there we are. So the party name is going to die. Eventually. As I don't think it's going to survive forever. Uh, but you know, you can have a bit of hope. A bit of positivity. Um, let's go. Legendary combat activity. Combat difficulty. Legendary economic difficulty. And no starting funds. Because, you know what? Let's punish ourselves today. Let's go a little bit ballsy. Uh, and with the map options, I'm not going to change anything fancy. I'm not going to give us decked out citadels, trade buildings. That's too much fun. Any extra factions, that's too much fun. The only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put crafting recipes on because I hate it when there's no crafting recipes. And I'll keep all of the scaling as well because why not? It's going full on masochistic pain suffering stream. That's how it is. So yeah, that's how it is today. The points show 0.0% 0 .0 for the yes because the amount of difference is Epo. <laughs> Goodness me. Don't you dare lose that first fight. Can we force you? Uh, you can't really force me to win. That's all it is. It's just however it goes. Does Legends work with a new DLC? Yes. Yes, it definitely does. The brand new version 16, Blood Eye and Poison are welcome to the stream. And yeah, so we got all the new updates. Everything's as intended. Um, there's so much more possibilities for the future, so please keep your eyes out, your ears out, um, because we are going to add even more fancy mods to our playthroughs, to our YouTube series, once I'm finished with my old YouTube series first. Um, but yeah, there's so much more potential for the future from here on that I'm very keen, and you guys are keen too. Um, after the first fight, we might go down. Yeah, maybe. If he dies first fight, I unsubscribe. <laughs> <laughs> just lose to Troll Murph? No, no, I won't. Um, you walk in the stands at Jousting Arena. You sit discomforted. There's a note looking for hardy men, knowledge of a sword, all welcome. There's coin to be earned, and you're now convinced to become a mercenary. Now, as I'm trying to become a mercenary, the Lone Wolf does get some options. Because it's super hard, you really need a start that sort of fits your character. So... The options for us is we can start with a longsword, a war pick and a heater shield, an axe and a buckler, a crossbow and a cutting weapon, which I'm assuming is like a one-handed sword, um, a bow and a dagger, or a pike. Now, what I need to do is I need to choose the shield because, goodness me, there's no way I'm not going to survive without a heater shield. So Strong Hammer and Hurt Sturdy Shield is the way to go, um, and that'll keep me alive. Everything else will be nice, but this will keep me alive, and I need to stay alive. So, I have not tried the seed before, I've got no idea what's going on, and by god, I should have had a pre-gen seed. An irrational slack lone wolf. Okay. I mean, the stats aren't too bad. Take that off, and it's only 9 base melee defense. The accuracy is pretty good. The health's not too bad. Eh, it's all right. Nothing fancy. But Dennis's pole. I'm I'm not sure what the what you mean by the pole. I have to answer the um, prediction thing though. You can always die and reroll. That is true, Diagon. I can die and reroll. Bone dagger only needs the dagger. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hey, Dre's this. Welcome to the stream, man. Hope you hope you stay awake. I know that's all good. Uh, okay, so to start us off, um, I am a sucker for student, but I'm also a sucker for professional. I don't know if I should go student on this guy. I should go a bit ballsy, shouldn't I? Hmm, but it's gonna be a hard run. No, I shouldn't go student. It stays until level 99, though. Let's play it safe, let's play it safe. Um, professional, watch how amazing this is. Look, look at this. As soon as I tried this out, this I got so flabbergasted by it because it was amazing. Watch. You remember Professional? It's normally a tier 7 perk. It's now a tier 1 perk because of Lone Wolf. That's it. That's just because he's fancy. It's the one that gives you Weapon Expert, Shield Expert, Duelist. Just watch. Just watch. 
They get added on the side if you don't have it. Oh, it's so good. Look at that. That is just five free perks. It's beautiful. Now, obviously, Weapon Master doesn't work until I grab one of these masteries. So 14 Fatigue will stay at 14 Fatigue. But at least I get Shield Expert and all the others. So that's nice. That's very nice. Now, I'll grab Survival Instinct because obviously that's flippin' amazing. And I'm going to grab Pattern Recognition because that's going to keep me alive. Um, and therefore, our Lone Wolf will do his best. Um, plus two is not as good as plus five. Plus four is good for the health. And then finally, for the third level up, plus four, plus four, that keeps the health skyrocketing. Okay, so we're as healthy as we can be. As everything else as we can be. And I think we've got a slight chance. Game Berserker, thank you so much for the five gifted subs. Absolutely appreciate the support for the community and for the stream. Um, Welcome to the Himalayas! Snowcall? <laughs> also, uh, Blood Mess, thank you for the resub at tier three for six months. Appreciate the support. Hello, ha, last catch the start of the stream, not in the end of the middle. Exactly, exactly. Great timing, my man, and a great screen dream to catch. Um, but Game Zerker, thanks for gifting a sub to Dennis, uh, Roland, Desiree, Desarg, Desagare, sorry. Um, Splitcher115, uh, not many if any, and Qualian. Congratulations for your free gifted subs. Um, Blood Mess, also thanks for the 100 um, bits for the hype train. Uh, the hype train starts when different people add to it. So if you, you keep adding bits by yourself, it doesn't really add to the hype train, unfortunately. But, yeah. Thank you guys so much for the support. Um, Diagram says, thou hast been called a sham streamer. <laughs> thanks, thanks. I got paid big bucks, exactly. <laughs> paid for his new snow PC and he hasn't upgraded yet. I will get it. I'll get it. It will happen. I've already accepted it as a scam. <laughs> Dying is dying rerolls a lot of free snowballs. Exactly. Um, there's an ad starting any second ad just to warn you guys. But, yeah, we are keen. Threaten him with death and seven days to die. Might as well go with bribery. <laughs> you could do either or. Either or. Um, now, since we are starting with absolutely nothing, the game minus is 100 bucks from us, which is nice. So, we're going to have to live with that and somehow make some money. At least we have food so we don't starve to death. So, that's a good thing. Uh, Murph, thanks for the 100 bits, man. Let's have a journey. Appreciate the support and appreciate the hype train, guys. Uh, I don't know. Should start, but I didn't. Strange, I don't understand this. That's all good, man. All good. Thanks for the other 100 bits, Murph. Appreciate it. And Raike, 100 bits. Oh, you guys are just adding wonderfully. Okay, so with the uh, renowned start of the character of the Lone Wolf, uh, we do not get noble quests. So... We are professional, but weirdly enough, we don't get noble quests. So I think I need to, like, unlock that. Uh, Blood Mess, five gifted subs to the community. Oh, goodness me. Thank you so much. Um, thank you very much for the sub. Uh, congratulations, Penny Rustic, uh, The Apoth, Little Marty, Tilka Sarome, and Mad Crow Tihi. Um, congratulations for your five gifted subs, and also Murph for the other 100 bits, um, and Naga for 100 bits, thank you, thank you so much. You guys are really pumping that hype train. There's a lot of hype, this, we've got the brand new mods, everything, upgraded, it's awesome, absolutely awesome. Uh, stone keep over there, that's not gonna help us. Stone keep over there, that's not gonna help us. And what's that? That's a stretch out settlement. We might have to go that way. This this map's a little bit not the best for the start. Murph for the oh my goodness. Even further beyond. You guys are going insane. I can't even start the gameplay. I have to keep saying thank you. Because Thank you guys so much. Murph for the thousand and two hundred bits. Game Berserker for the thousand and fifty bits. Holy crap. We'll never get into the gameplay this way. <laughs> it's just gonna be a substream. What do they call them? Subathons or something? Yeah, like the subathon stuff. Oh my goodness. 
You guys are amazing. Nagas for 100 bits. Drazus, thank you guys so much for the money and the support. Murph for the... Oh my goodness. Murph for the 10 tier 1 gifted subs. Congratulations to Better Otter, Lord Digby, Nezard81, Wormasek, uh, The Wiggle Baron, Neptune77, Antonius28, Poofy Stuff, Krillminator, and Ezreal75. Congratulations to all of your gifted subs. Uh, Apocalypse is gifting a tier 1 sub to the community as well, thank you. And congratulations to TJ Duckett, TG Duckett, sorry. Um, goodness, better PC this weekend now. I will have to do it. I, I'm, it's on my to-do schedule. It is. Still dodging gifty, says Uber. <laughs> We've done it, boys. Tier 5 hype train. Oh my goodness, the hype train's going insane. Bathtub stream now? No, no, I'm not doing the bathtub stream. <laughs> but thank you, Apocalypse, for the wonderful, wonderful support as well. Well, we've never reached level 6. I don't think it actually gets to level 6. I think it only gets to level 5. Is this enough to get you your PC? Those gamers are good, definitely. I will be able to build my PC. It's just, I'm so busy. <laughs> I will try and find some time this week, if possible. I will do what I can. You guys have been way too generous. And I can't wait to get a better PC, because that means we can play better games. Not better games, but more PC demanding games for, like, Tuesdays. We could maybe play Ark or something like that. Definitely can't wait. Get my brother to build it? Yeah, I can always force my brother to do it, even though my brother's always very busy as well. Yeah, maybe on a weekend I can get him to come over and we can work on it together to speed up the time. He usually is the better one at that. Now we need your first fight. That is true. That is true. This is enough to get the PC. Murph for the $100 donation. Yes, yes, thank you, Murph. That is definitely going to... I already have enough for the PC, that's just bonuses on top. I'm probably going to be able to give it some LED lights on it now or something. Thank you so much for the support, my man. Now I need to get a better PC too, says Naga, if we're going to play Ark. Yeah, exactly. Ark is just... I love Ark. It's just so demanding. You put like three mods on it and it's like, oh, I'm going to kill your PC now. Yeah, it's horrible. Full RGB. <laughs> yeah. For some just little sweet work at the cash, I'll do it probably with a smile, says Blood Mess. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You just gotta force him somehow. Conan 2 is fun, though. Yeah, I, I've seen a bit of Conan, but I'm more of an arc person. Merce, so I can have 50 for the nice streak steak dinner. Where will I... where I will think of you. Exactly. <laughs> oh, of course they're gonna try and do this to us. Um, actually, I think I can beat Brigands. I think the state that my character is in... I think I can actually beat this fight. Uh, Murph for the $50, thank you, uh, for Digrin and his steak. But it's a, that's that's not to Digrin, that's to me. <laughs> but thank you for the 50 bucks. Oh my goodness. I'm not going to spend that on a steak. I'm not going to do that. But thank you so much for the donation, man. And that's a tier 5 hype train emote. Congratulations, chat. What the heck is that? It's a giraffe! Oh, that's a cool emote. That's a really cool emote. We also get the f Hype Train 4 emote. Okay, that's two emotes. Did you guys get two emotes? Congratulations. There's an owl and a giraffe. Congratulations, chat. And thank you guys so much for the support. Um, and congratulations on your, your permanent emotes. The giraffes are actually really cool. I do like that one. Game Berserker didn't get any. What do you mean? Didn't you... You cheered a hundred and... a thousand and fifty bits? What? How is Twitch just not being nice? Did you not get one as well, Murph? No, no, no. Murph got the, the giraffe. If you click on emotes... And it goes down to your uh, Twitch hype train. It should be on that list. But for some reason... Oh no, the giraffe is on my list. Okay, I was worried for a second there. Um, Twitch loves me, says Game Berserker. Yeah, the internet, everything loves Game Berserker. But yeah, seven brigands, seven stacks of surround. Overconfidence is uh, blah blah blah, says Blood Mess. I know, right? 
But here we go, chat. I think overconfidence is a very quick and insidious killer. But I think we've got this. Do you think we've got this, chat? I mean, you already predicted that I won't die in my first fight. So I think we've got this. Rolling on 5%, 7% with the aimed shot. Any second now I can highlight the tiles. And do I go for the dog first? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I might as well. Okay, that's a bad start. But it is just rabble, and I've got a decent amount of armor. The dog rolls a 5%. I get morale checked by a dagger. <laughs> okay, calm down, rabble. Calm down. Uh, I'll go for the 64, because I have a 1% extra... And then I miss one of them. That's okay. That's something. That's something. Even before dog... I'm dying to the dog. He hits a 14. The dog's the only thing that's hit me. I am dying to the dog, apparently. You forgot about my luck, says Six Murphy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hey, I get my first kill, though. That's a good kill. It doesn't fix my morale state, which is kind of pathetic. I thought I'd be happy killing the first guy. So, you never know. My snowballs chat. It'll be okay. I think I'm gonna survive this one. You guys are scared. Hey, 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 it's okay. I'm a lone wolf versus a bunch of rabble. We got this. We got this. 10 snowballs to 22,000 snowballs. Here we go. <laughs> Time for the 5%. Oh my god, I'm missing 73s and they're hitting 5s. Oh, the dog! <laughs> Two fives in a row! Chat! What is this dog? And you wonder why I hate dogs in this game so much. Two five percents in a row. They need to have a champion dog in this game. Yeah, I'm absolutely exhausted. I can only attack once a turn. And I'm missing 74s. What is this? It's round six, and I've killed one enemy. <laughs> oh, another 5%. Thanks. Please nerf the doggos. Exactly. Okay, I finally get a hit. Five, two hits for 5%. Triangle? Yep, it's the triangle. I need a spear? I know I need a spear. Oh, they're shooting their own guys. Oh, they're shooting their own dog! Thank you, poachers. Thank you. That's exactly what I needed. And I missed the 80%. I see the update hasn't changed my luck. The update has not changed my luck in the slightest. I've missed every 70. <sighs> I'm a lone wolf with no help, exactly. Okay, my morale finally changes at that 83. Finally. It's looking up, boys. They shoot their own dog again. They kill their own dog! I'm saved, chat. I'm saved. The dog is gone. I win. Yes! I didn't have to kill the dog myself. <laughs> but I get sniped on a 38. Okay, I'm not- I'm not done just yet. I'm not done just yet, but sniping me at a 38 is still a little bit rough to deal with. Dog shish kebab. <laughs> yeah, the poor thing. We do get a little bit of loot from this, so that'll be nice. Okay, finally chased one down. No, 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 no. That's a 38. Come on, buddy. Calm down. I don't care much for the rock, so I'm gonna go for this guy. Nice, nice. Whew! A little bit scary. Also, my shield's breaking? Uh-oh. Chat. This fight's been going on too long. I don't want to lose my shield in the first fight. That would be very bad. Uh, by the way... Do we only play this one character in this run, or can he recruit bros? Ah, you can't recruit bros, but 
There is a way to get more bros. Give me thy silver, says Epocalypse, because Epocalypse is the one who voted for me to lose. <laughs> I shall try and win this one. Um, but yes, uh, with the recruiting thing, the only way I can recruit is through events. Unfortunately, I can't just go around shopping for bros. Apocalypse no stop. Okay, is this guy actually gonna flee or is he... Okay, go up the high ground, buddy. Screw yourself. Okay, now I've caught him. I hate this. <sighs> really? You know what? I'm I'm just gonna wait here. Aha! Fudge. Bring around the flippin' Rosie with this guy. I'm gonna have to figure out a strategy. And I got it! He had to take the high ground. Let's go! Alvo and Anonimo, welcome to the stream, man. Is this the new version of Legends in PTR? Yes, it is. Definitely. We are on the new version. Plenty of nice updates. It is the new Lone Wolf start. That's even harder than before, so we're trying our best, and this is our first fight. Hive Tyrant Slippy, welcome to the stream, man. Good to see you. And that is a win. 303 experience, 6 kills, 300 damage, and I took a lot from that dog. And I get 140 bucks! Let's go! I'm out of debt! For the first time ever! And a little bit of everything else. And I only have 12 inventory spaces, I think. Where is it? 16 inventory spaces, that's still not very many. And I've got 3% left on my shield. Are you kidding me? My shield has one health. I almost lost the shield. Holy crap. Holy crap indeed. Okay, now where was that prediction? Uh, here we are. Did Snow die in his first battle? The answer is... no! Congratulations for the prediction, chat! Which means... How much do you guys win? That's the big question. See the details. Uh, a lot of people said I wasn't gonna die. Which is wonderful news. Does that mean you guys just share in the spoils? I think you guys share in the spoils or something. Dre's just got one snowball. Naga got a hundred. Got 1.5k and I gained six snowballs. Murph got a little bit. Oh, it's because whoever voted the other direction is only what they got from the other one. Use my 10 snowballs well. Uh, Dennis is heading off to bed. Good to see you, man. Thanks for hanging out and popping by. We'll see you soon. You put in 21k and you got 54 and 49 snowballs. Holy crap. Is that how it works? Well, we learned that the hard way. Wow. So if you, it's however many the other side votes. So if you guys put so much in for one side, new way to donate snowballs to chat, that is actually true. That is the way to donate snowballs to the rest of chat. Is predict wrong, and then all your snowballs gets distributed to everybody else who predicted correctly. So I think the trick is, with the predictions, I think we learned this the hard way, but you want to have even number of snowballs in both sides. Because you're risking your snowballs to be given away, and you're trying to win the other person's snowballs who voted the other way. So you guys put a lot for the no. But... There's not many that was put for the yes, so the yes was distributed to you guys. So what you're saying is I should give you all my snowballs? <laughs> Apparently so. Uh, but yeah, that was, that was actually a good fight. Let's get the dagger in here. 
Let's hold on to the arrows, because why not? we got nothing else to do with our inventory space. And let's head off to town. Have fun with one twenty-one thousandth of a snowball. <laughs> uh, okay. Tools and supplies. Have I fixed my shield? Please tell me the shield's fixed. It's not. Um, can I actually salvage? Yes, I can salvage. Okay, that's good. I've got 40 bucks to my name. And the quest available is bring inside a location. That is possible. And so is the delivery. Okay, I can actually work with this. The other cool thing you guys can see with this Lone Wolf Star is there's no recruits. Like, literally no recruits at every single town. So I can't even think about recruiting people. I just have no option to do it. Uh, what else do I do? Do I get some food? Nah, food's fine. Can't even get a spear. I can get the baby spear, but that's fine. Okay, I guess we just have to live with what we have. Um, let's go for a bring it location. Murph is talking to himself again. <laughs> he's sounding like he's having too much fun. Let's go and camp this off a little bit. No tools left, but it's still repairing. Don't know how that works. How is my shield not repaired? Oh no, chat. I have to get rid of this dagger. I have to. It's the only way my shield can get repaired. Okay, my shield got repaired. Ooh, that's bad. I had to ditch the dagger. Man, I'm making some stretchy decisions here. I can't really do much. Murph is talking to himself, contradicting himself. He's losing his mind. Exactly. <laughs> Someone saved me from the autocorrecting, stopping me from capping. Oh, yeah. Kappa with the autocorrect. Uh, easiest way will be from barbarian camps. They got the highest chance for adding barbarian or rescuing someone from a captive. But that doesn't even work. You can't even rescue people. As a lone wolf, you just have no way of adding people to the party through events. The only event you can do is there's fancy events that the origin has. So it's like an origin event. Um, that made me giggle. Good job, Murph. Uh, Snow, can you name your dude? It's a lone wolf, so play, why not? Okay, okay, I'll name him Snow. I normally don't name my own character myself. But I'll do it for this playthrough. This will be the special one. Shouldn't, shouldn't name him Nagas. <laughs> So early on, I think friendships will be good. Yeah, I need friendships first. Uh, okay, so let's rename my character so I remember. Snow the Lone Wolf. Uh, we'll quickly save so I don't lose any progress. Uh, it will be... There we are. Hey, Ulrich, welcome to the stream, man. New playthrough. Yes, yes, we are doing a Lone Wolf with the new updates and everything. And what I'm super happy about is my shield's repaired. Holy crap. Desperately needed that to happen. Death makes for a great friend. Uh-huh. And uh, there's a few poachers. Can I take these guys at night? It's midday. As a single raider. Oh, okay, that's... Already it's a raider. The game thinks I'm at a 15.995 company strength. And it's already sending me a raider on a tier 1 quest. I know the difficulty's upped, but holy crap. Um... I think I take them at night. No, I'm, I'm gonna be safe. I cannot leave this to chance. I'm a sucker for the axe blade. Death makes a great friend. What about the dogs? Oh, yeah. Well, Sunday will be playthrough as new as well. No, we're still doing a peasant militia on Sunday. So Sunday won't be any different. But a good question regardless. We need spins to even the fight. I know, I know. But I've got a high ground. Okay. This will be nice. High ground for the win. And a raider without a shield. Oh, that's nice. 5%, that's fine. Just don't hurt my shield. 
And he hits the 5% so he doesn't hurt my shield. Fair enough. I'm on Raider, walk forward. Oh, yeah, that's right, I forgot to do the prediction. Uh, let's start a new prediction, shall we? Okay, I don't like this. There we go. Oh, that's previous prediction. Oh my goodness, this new prediction thing's a bit funny. Um... Go. There we go. Remember not to spend too many things on the prediction. Unless unless you want to give away snowballs to other people. There we go. Will Snow win his second battle? I mean, I already got sniped in the face. The, the Raiders got my future best friend, my spear. That is true. That is true. If this guy gives it to me, that'll be awesome. It's exactly what I want. But I think we have a chance in this one. Oh wow, you guys are spending a lot of snowballs. I'm assuming Murph is adding a lot in there too. Vote yes, will I win the second battle? Free snowballs awaits you because Murph's voting the no. <laughs> But my future best friend would be Underdog or Lone Wolf. Oh, Lone Wolf would be amazing. But I don't know what level I could get it at. Um, oh, it's still only at level 5? Level 6, I mean. That's going to take some time. But if I get a few locations cleared by myself, it shouldn't be too bad. Um, Underdog. Ooh, Underdog's level 5 perk. That's not bad. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, no, that's that's pretty good. So I'll definitely get Underdog, definitely get Lone Wolf. Uh, definitely get Battleforged. Maybe get Clarity. And maybe get Assured Conquest. Um, Killing Frenzy is super important. Uh, rebound is super important. Can't. Oh, Muscularity might be okay if I'm trying to get a bit more health. And same with Colossus. Menacing's not too bad, when you think about it. Allowing your morale to get a bit hit more on the enemies, but it's not like it's super important either. If I wield a two-handed weapons, I can get formidable approach. That's also very helpful. 20 snow for the win in snowy trusts, says Alvo. Sounds like a good idea, Alvaro. Gifted for attack, yeah, gifted for sure. Unfortunately, I am super slow at this moment in time, and I cannot catch this poacher, but I will try. Raider's going to be stuck down there while I try and chase these guys. Do I outspeed? I don't outspeed anybody. What a surprise. But I kind of want to chase this archer down. This is actually a free kill. I could have gone into the middle of these two, but I mean, why not? That makes them come for me. Perfect. Goodbye, Archer. Of course I get sniped through the trees! On an 8%, I also gave him the high ground, that's probably not a good thing. He's rolling on 25s to hit through my shield. Oh, if this shield breaks, I'm going to be so devastated. But we get rid of the archer, which is good news. He's trying to stun me? Oh, if I get stunned. Fudge. At least I'm confident. Uh, I think I go here. Winded. Yup, windpipe is what I needed to get rid of. He's only going to attack once. Perfect. 
Then I go for the rabble. It's over Snow Akin. He has the high ground. <laughs> he does have the high ground. If he gets a stun on me, I'm going to be pissed. And I missed him on a 72. Okay, incoming. 36%. I can beat that. But I think... Do I need to get rid of this guy first? No, I'm going for this guy. How am I rolling literally one point higher than I need to be? What is this? What is this? Okay, I'm dodging at least two of his 30s. Come on. The poacher's never going to run out of arrows. This rabble, for some reason, isn't attacking me. There we go. That's the headshot we needed. That's exactly what we needed. But yeah, this rabble keeps ending his turn. I take a 30. That's a little bit damaging. That's fine. I'm dodging sevens. There we go. Come on, one more big hit and I think this guy might be gone. He still outspeeds me, of course. Okay, that's fine. Don't break my shield. Oh, he murdered his friend. I'll take it. I don't get XP for that, which kind of sucks. But I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay, he's down to 10%. I get the spear chat! Yes! Oh, that's so good! Oh, that's so good! And I get the hits on the way out for the rabble. Oh, I'm happy. But yeah, we did, um... We did find another bug, Uber. As we always do on the stream. Oh, boy, that's good. That's good. Hype and streamer's luck for the drop. He attacked me so many times with that weapon, and I got it. No idea how that happened. But, that's game over. Maybe because it is a loot? I know the drum got revamped. But I'm not sure about the um, loot and what happened to... Oh my goodness, 81s. Crap, my shield's gonna break. Chat, I need to drop my shield. No, it's at 11. Okay, okay. I'm missing 91's chat. Are you freaking kidding me? I rolled 100 twice in a row. There's an ad starting any second now. I literally rolled 100 twice in a row. Why? Why is my luck cursed? I don't even know. Uh, Game Berserker, thank you very much for the tier 1 gifted sub to the community. And congratulations to Don DeMello24 for your free gifted sub. Sebastian, welcome to the stream, man. Um, gifted a spear and a sub. Exactly. The perfect roll twice in a roll, right, Kate? I don't even know, man. But it's good to see you, though. <sighs> Fudge. How's the shield? I can take a couple more hits. I don't need to drop it just yet. Ninety-four, I finally hit a ninety. Doesn't kill him, though. I take a 5%. Yep, yeah, okay. Sounds legit. Shield is slowly breaking. He's not dead? I hit a 95 and he's not dead. I take another 5%. Chat, I, I never understand this game. I don't understand it. <laughs> oh well. The double grip damage I could be doing right now? Yeah, that's true. Let's put it in my pocket. There we go, double grip. Then I can kill him in two hits instead of one hit. No! <laughs> Game Berserker! It took three hits to kill this guy with a shield on. It takes three hits to kill this guy without a shield. Because he somehow lives on two health. I don't know, man. I don't know. But at least he's dead. 476 XP, 5 kills. That's a good amount of damage. I took a bit more. 69 armor damage. Nice. 
123 damage outright, um, money outright, a bit of food to survive me, and the spear I need. Let's go, chat. And some tools to fix my poor shield. Oh, that's good. So I'm going to keep this spear in here. And switch it out whenever needed. Because in certain harder fights, I might need the pick. Uh, let's salvage those. Snorkel? <laughs> no, 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 don't worry. It's lemon. And that should be fine. Uh, Shine Sun, thank you for the resub with Prime for four months, my man. How's it going? Just join in see some extreme luck, eh? Oh, man, it happens. It's what you expect when you come to my streams. You just see the pure suffering. Um, but glad to have you here, and thank you very much for the sub, man. And, yeah, well, enjoy the wonderful brand new hardcore lone wolf that it is of the new updates and all that. Um, but yes, chat, congratulations on the predictions. And congratulations to Murph for gifting a bunch of the points to the community. Um, will Snow win his second battle? And the answer was... Yes! So the prediction result is in. And there's a bunch of free snowballs for the people who guessed correctly. Congratulations. Uh, deliver cargo to a new location. I'll take it, I think. There's nothing else I can do here. I'll quickly heal up before we go to our next destination. Get rid of that. Is there anything I need to buy desperately? I mean, I'm starting to have a bit of money for armor upgrades, and that helmet is looking like it needs an upgrade. So I will quickly buy a super cheap... Uber bagel, I found another bug. <laughs> um, has anybody noticed something funny? Something interesting. Does anybody know what looks kind of interesting? Interesting. The hat stays the same, and then when I take this off, the character pops forward and then pops back in. That's hilarious. Free hat. Exactly. Free hat. Does it keep the stats? Okay, I didn't check the stats. No, the stats go worse to its normal value, but it looks funny. I'll send you the log, Uber. Wonder Wiener, welcome to the stream, man. Definitely a free looking hat. Helmet's still an image, but that's not game-breaking. I hope it's not game-breaking. I have no idea. Um, but I will send the log to the Discord. Uh, PTR... Do, 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 do. Discord doesn't like me when I'm streaming. Uh, let's put it into bugs. Yes, Discord, I'm just giving you a small file. Um, removing hat attachment equals visual bug. There we go. I spelled attachment wrong, but you guys know what I'm talking about. All good indeed. So, from here... Um, I can still buy my uh, my armor piece, which is this one I'm going for. 137 is a bit expensive, but I think for my survivability... Ah, <laughs> it happens again. Does it happen with the armor? No, it doesn't happen with the armor. It's only with the helmet attachment. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, I'm going to save in case something bad happens. But you never know. Visual glitches, it could be worse. Oh, it could definitely be worse. I've had many worse bugs in my time. And speaking about bugs, what do you know? The Cultus series is bugged again, and I think I have to put a lot of effort into fixing it. I think I'm going to migrate the Cultus series to the new... Um, the new version of Legends. It's going to take a lot of work, but I'm having continual bugs with Davila Rising... And I might have to just abandon Davkla Rising. It's sad, but it's not working for me. 
and it's it's being painful. So sad times to say that the Cultist series is slightly delayed again because of uh, corruption of the save, which is unfortunate, unfortunate indeed. But I'll do what I can. Um, oh goodness me, this isn't what I wanted. We barely even left town and we got stolen from with the package. <laughs> Come on, delivery quest. That's not what I want. <sighs> I also had my character not on salvaging. Okay, now where is these tracks? Please tell me I don't lose them. Okay, they're this way. Instantly stolen in the middle of town, before I even leave town with a package. Oh no! Don't you freaking dare! Damn it. I have my spear out, though. That's really good. 17! <laughs> Chat, I am going to be upset. 17%. I had a chance to get out of that. Eleven percent. Okay, I now have the high ground. Do they have overwhelm? Fudge. I need to check mod options. Now, here's one really thing that's really cool. Um, oh, ZizQ, welcome to the stream and follow the tracks. Well, it turned into a follow the tracks quest, apparently. Um, but yeah, I'm excited for more Daphkul with all the updates. Getting on the Daphkul Rising nowadays can keep you up. No, I can keep up. Yeah, no, I can't. I can't keep up with the updates on it and the problems it's having. So I think we might, we had our fun with it, but we might have to ditch it. Um, but here we are. Enhanced enemy tooltips. These are mod options that is really cool with the brand new version of Legends. And they're amazing. Absolutely amazing. Combat speed, I can go a little bit faster. Visual skill effects. Oh yeah, the the frenzy stuff. I'll show you guys that sometime soon. But that's going to be lots of fun. Okay. Mr. Wolf, you do not give me overwhelm. Thank the Lord. Oh my god, 16% again. Let's go. Let's go. We can do this. I should have done a prediction for this, but I'm already into the fight. I don't want it to be like this. I don't. That's a 10% of 17 and 18 back to back. Come on, chat. Come on. Wow. This is my luck in a nutshell, boys. The absolute worst. I can't even beat one of them. It's so rigged. Oh, my shield's gonna break. Hey, I hit a 92. That's rare. Don't break my shield. Please. Pattern recognition might be high enough that I don't need the shield. It's at 9%. That's not bad. Oh, actually, that is bad. No, I can I can fix it next turn. Next turn's fine. I can trust in the shield. Because I can get a kill here. Yes, let's go. I didn't get confident. Oh, come on. Come on, Snow. You can get confident from that. Oh, the 5% headshot? What? Oh my goodness. I'm going to drop this on the ground. And I'm going double-handed here. That did not do much. 
Pattern recognition should be at a good point. Nine, eight, six. Of course he rolls a one. And then fives and fours. And he hits another five. Oh my god, he hits another five! I cannot take more 5% chat. This needs to stop now. You leave for five minutes and come back and Snow's getting headshotted. Yeah, yeah, that's... That's a And I finally get confident. Holy crap. Come on. Yep, called it. Are you kidding me? <laughs> You're freaking kidding me. Why does this game hate me? This game absolutely hates me. Pay out the doubters. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, there was no there's no gambles on that one. Yeah, I forgot to do a gamble. Go make myself a drink. Yeah, <laughs> this is why Snow doesn't name his character that's for himself. Exactly. Yeah, no no no, I die. I uh. Sheesh. It was so rigged. I had the percents in my favor. 100% I should have won that. 5% doesn't mean 5%. Yeah, no way does it mean 5%. There's no way. I predicted the going to die thing, though. Don't even know what LL Nen means, but okay. Oh, LL Nen is um, legendary, legendary none in terms of starting funds. So it's the hardest way to play the game. Where's the spins for buffs when we need it? I know, right? 5% is like 25%? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 5% is 95%? Yep. You get my respect and admiration as Apocalypse? Do I get some snowballs now? <laughs> yeah, respect and admiration. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, we start again. Oh, it has the same stats. That's nice. <sighs> Fudge. Just out of nowhere, we got chased down and had complete bad RNG. We had bad RNG in the first fight, the second fight, the third fight. And the third fight's where it mattered. I think one of those 5%s not hitting would have kept me alive. One of them. Now, with the choice this time... I have no stamina. I think maybe I go longsword. I love the shield, because it keeps me alive. But if, oh, if I don't take the shield, I'll get sniped. But I don't like the hammer's damage. But it does work against things like raiders. Maybe I just go risky. I might go risky this time. A pike? No, no way. Pike's a bad idea. Pike's a horrible idea. There's no way we can deal with a pike, because it's minus 15% accuracy in melee. But it's... It, uh, thanks for the suggestion, though. <laughs> I'll try longsword. Maybe go a bit risk. Money is spear and shield. Yeah, see, if I could go spear shield, that would be the way to win. Oh, wow, we've got a cool armor set. How did we get graced with a good armor set? Is it because we chose a different weapon? Also, that attachment still doesn't come off. That's amazing. We get lumbering? Oh, we also get nyctophobia. Okay, this is a brand new negative trait, chat. We are afraid of the dark. As a melee build. Who likes to fight at night time. That is horrible. That is absolutely horrible. Sell the longsword and buy a shield and spear, says Blood Mess. Oh, that could work. Except for the fact that the longsword doesn't sell for very much. But I could try. I'll see what I can do. So let's get professional, as usual, because that gives us reach advantage, bloody harvest, 
Um, survival expert, and then formidable approach is probably better than pattern recognition. Now that we have a two-handed weapon. I'll try it out this way, Blood Mess, and then if it fails me, then I will go and grab myself a shield and spear. I will see how much it costs, though. Because I think it's going to cost too much, in all honesty. I love your idea, but let's have a look. I'm at minus 100 coins. My longsword will sell for 300. A spear is 236 for the weakest spear in the game. No, the weakest spear is like 15 bucks. Um, the second weakest spear in the game. And a shield, I could get a buckler. I could get a buckler and a spear. That's not worth it. That is so not worth it. But I appreciate the idea, Blood Mess. It's just we don't get money from the sword. Long swords aren't worth anything. Which is the only sad part to it. Sell the longsword, buy a Kopesh. I mean, Kopeshes do pretty well. Actually, I can sell the smoked ham. I forgot I was at negative money, chat. I need to make some food. <laughs> I forgot I was at negative money. I was like, oh, I can sell the ham and then make and then buy a cheaper piece of food. <laughs> I hate that I start with negative money. Okay, there we go. I sorted myself out. I get some fresh meat. <laughs> and my character's not unhappy because he didn't eat. Okay, good. Good. I sorted that out. That was totally not a blunder. I just got myself out of debt. It's all good. It's all good. Maybe you can hunt something nice to sell it. Yeah, no, hunting doesn't really give you much to sell. Because they made sure that you couldn't earn too much money off of that. Uh, what else am I dealing with? Abducted children. Oh, no. Don't tell me there's a hex. There's a fall the tracks. I'll do that. There's a tier one hex quest on day one. What? Six hundred. I know I'm immune. So here's the thing: you're immune to charm effects. Never desert the company. That's insanity. No, I gotta do the follow Trex quest quest first. Why are hirees here? Uh oh, I found a glitch again, Uber. <laughs> Why are there hirees in the run? Every other place hasn't shown me hirees. Also, there's no name when I put my mouse over the stables when these have names tavern marketplace nothing and hirees that's meant to have a name i think and the other thing i saw the update saying that there's different names for taverns but this one doesn't have a name on it does it say on the inside no it doesn't log again i guess says uber <laughs> that's all good man we'll be popping up logs all day today for you uh, let's grab that in there. Uh, town equals no fancy tavern name. Recruits are there on a LW start. And no name for the stable. There you are. No issues, my man. Tavern should have random names, isn't it? Yep, yep, yep. No worries. I mentioned that one. Snow's death broke the game. Oh, yeah. Totally. For sure, like a roll tragic hit for negative 50%. Oh, yeah, with those 5%. Um, one of them had a tragic hit. I saw that, but unfortunately, not all of those 5% were really tragic. Especially that last one where I died. Snow dead or alive breaks the game? Yeah, that's, that's very true. Let's get a beer for Snow in the tavern equals morale boost. Is it like 7 bucks? It's seven bucks to give myself a beer. You know what? It didn't do anything. <laughs> I just don't drink. That's what it is. My character doesn't drink. Um, What is it? I need to rename myself, and then I can get myself killed again. All right, let's follow these tracks, boys. Oh, also prediction. Prediction, of course. 
I gotta keep remembering. Oh no. <sighs> the prediction's not liking me again. Oh, fudge. Okay, Twitch, you gotta fix this. Why are the predictions showing me my previous ones? Uh, let's do submission for two minutes and start the prediction. There we are. Now, this is a rabble fight. Remember, this is probably an easy fight. Worst seven bucks I ever spent. Exactly. Uh, no, I don't want that. Eight more contracts is probably the only thing I can really work on. Need more beer. Uh, okay, so this should be an easy fight. It's going to be during the day. But I'm not sure. 69 versus 440, yep. I'll wait and see if anything joins the fight, says Game Berserker. <laughs> I don't think anything's going to join the fight. It's just going to be us versus them. Now, also remember, I don't have my shield this time. So the rabble were rolling 5% on me last time. They are still rolling 5%. Archer's rolling on 7s when he misses me. But I am trying to win this with a sword. I take a 32 from the poacher. Okay, okay. So now I can see the problem without having a shield. But now I have a one stack of survival instincts, so that could be okay. Obviously they have a dog, so I have the game rigged against me. But other than there being a dog, I might win this one. The sword has a 10% chance to hit. The hammer previously did not. So the accuracy bonus will help. And if I have a stamina problem, I can always just go for the overhead swing. Six action points instead of the two quick slashes of 10 um, fatigue. I can even repost, but that's expensive as hell. I have better armor and a better damage weapon, so I trust you. Aw, oh, thanks, Game Berserker. I'm just worried about the snipes, because there's literally four of them. I hate the ranged characters whenever you're playing Lone Wolf. They're the absolute worst. So how did that prediction go? What are you guys thinking? Wow, 22,000. Already, 20,000 20, versus 2,000. I think you guys are keen on me not dying this time. But if I do die, then you guys get a payout. I dodged the dog on a 20%. Oh my goodness. And I slam dunk accurately. Okay, that's good. Plus five melee defense. The dog still hits me. Of course he does. High ground. Uh-oh. I think in the entirety of this fight, this is the best turn for me to repost. I take a 12%. Okay, I'm reposting this. Yep. Yep. I'll fatigue myself completely. I get the dog kill. I take a 1% again. Holy crap. They're sniping their own guys. Good. Just hope they shoot the dog. Nope, they're shooting their own guy. Oh, sweet. <laughs> They did it! And I finally get the kill there. Okay, so now it's up to me versus archers. Yep, I expected that. Yep. I might lose to archers, chat. It's possible. It is very possible to lose to archers. A quick shot of 18?! Calm down. I'm hiding in the bushes. They can't see me. They should not be able to see me. I can run from bush to bush, chat. Yes, high ground. Okay, there we go. That's two of them. I'm still getting 26s on me. Oh, dear. Aimed shot was for a 16. Okay. 
Uh, let's slam dunk this. That doesn't even kill. I predicted because I suffered too many times. Yep. Can I get the 95? Thank you. And the confident. Dodging 5%. Getting hit by a 22. Come on, boys. I need to get in this bush. Hiding in the... Oh, come on. Come on. No. No! Oh, I'm sitting in the bush. Screw this. Screw this. No, I'm recovering my fatigue. I don't care. I'm sitting in the bush forever. You can't stop me. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll hide in the bush. If he dies this time, go for axe build. It'll be fun. Axe build is very luck based. Because it's like... You gotta get the hits for headshots to do well. Unless it's like a two-handed axe. But it said axe and buckler, so I really don't think it's a... Oh... Yes? Yes. Thanks, man. There goes my confidence. I'm literally going to die to a melee, a body shot. But? Holy crap. I can't believe I'm this battered. To freaking rabble. Wow. 194 damage. And I get nothing. <laughs> oh, that was close. Actually, chat, that was really close. A good body shot could have killed me there. I'm known to be very unlucky. Oh. But congratulations on those who guessed correctly. Prediction result was no, I didn't die in my first battle, but my god, I, I almost did. There's an ad starting any second just to warn you guys. And I really need to repair my armor. Let's go get paid, and let's see if I can do this hex fight. I don't know if I want to do it, though. If I'm getting this much wrecked in just a rabble fight, I'm sure a hex is going to be worse. Oh, and you know why a hex is going to be worse? Because they made hexes scarier. They actually made them worse. Because... They gave hexes the ability to sleep. Like Alps. And they also gave them Wither. I think it was Wither. Freaking hexes. Yep. They got new abilities. Yeah, yeah, I just said that, Uber. Yep, yep. Maybe there's the stream delay. But yeah, hexes got new crap. Which I don't like, because they're they're already scary enough. I don't need hexes to be more annoying. I'm in the ad, I can't hear. Oh, all good, all good. No worries, my man. Uh, let's get this salvage going. Let's repair everything, please, buddy, please, be able to repair your entire armor. Come on. Did I get everything repaired? But I didn't get everything healed. That's okay, that's okay. Repaired is still good enough. Barely had enough to repair it all. I am finding this interesting, though. While salvaging and repairing, it didn't show me I got plus tools and supplies, and it didn't seem like I got a positive amount. Just interesting. Um, Game Berserker, thank you very much for the tier 1 gifted sub to Uber Bagel. Appreciate the support, and Uber Bagel, congratulations. Ads can shove it. I know, I agree, I just can't do anything about it. It's either ads at the beginning or ads somehow during the stream, and, and it's better to do it during the stream because then Twitch makes things difficult. So I've got to do it that way. I try and minimize it. It's only, what is it? 
one and a half minutes of ads every half hour. So it's three minutes of ad an hour, which is like 5%. 5% of the stream is ads, which is really not much, but you know, I can only do so much to try and minimize it. But thank you guys for the support. Um, uh, I screwed up my bet. I thought I bet for you to survive. Now I understand why so many snowballs are in the other options, says Alvaro. Oh yeah, that's probably why. Yep, yep, all good, my man. Twitch needs a premium sub, no ads platform wide. Oh, like like how um Discord has like Discord Nitro or something. How you get the cool thing across places. Yeah, maybe maybe they need like a fancy sub. I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure they wouldn't complain about getting extra cash. Uh, what else are we doing? Caravan two days. Uh, I'll stay around and protect his son. What time is it? It's after midnight, so it's probably going to be waiting until next night. Fine, fine. I'll try it. I'll try it. I need to heal up, though. Ah! So, this, um... Welcome to one of the fancy events that is now brand new to the Lone Wolf start. Um, you get insulted by a random guy on the side of the road who decides to be a jerk to you, piss you off, and uh, say in profanities and whatever to you. And he's supposedly a prince or whatever crap. Um, you can teach him a lesson and go into a 1v1, or you can give up on the fight. Um, I'm not going to do this fight. And there's a reason for that. It's impossible. I don't know how you're meant to win this fight. This is such an early event to happen in, in the game. I literally have no idea how the hell you're going to fight this. Show it, but I'll get myself killed. Oh, I don't know if I can flee from the fight. Maybe I can go to the autosave. Maybe I can do the autosave. But I'll show the fight. Fair enough, Dre's this. Fair enough. You twisted my arm. Um, but this fight is impossible, and here I'll show you why. Okay. I'll be filtering in and out snow, send logs and post streams if you're able. No worries, Uber. Thanks for popping by, and I will definitely do that when needed. Um, but I will show it, and then I'll do the autosave. But yeah, this is this is impossible. And I don't know why this comes up so early in your run. This is the way that you can get yourself um, new brothers in the party. I think if you beat this guy, then eventually the next event will be the guy that joins you. There is autosave, Zizku, so don't worry. I will show this and... There we are. Gets to confront him. Take him snow. Is that the only person I can send out? Ha! Ha 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 ha! Why do I have the guy I'm protecting? For the quest. Why is he in this fight? Does he just join you on any fight that you get? Uber, you're gonna have a you're gonna have a wonderful, wonderful log immediately after you just said goodbye. <laughs> oh, I don't think this is intended. But that's hilarious. <laughs> um, hex saving guy joins the fight of a 1v1 lone wolf. Oh my goodness, that's hilarious. See, I told you guys, I'm the bug finder. That is, that's my nickname. I always find bugs in this game. And he's gonna die. But this chat this is why you don't take this fight fodder bow for the surround bonus yeah that would be the help but yeah no you don't take this fight because as a level four character immediately the brand new part of the game there's no way there's literally no way you win this this guy hits like 80s to 90s on you even with pattern recognition with my character i've tried it different ways just for the fun of it to see if i could win this you don't win. You're rolling on 30s to 60s on this guy at best. It's usually like 35. And I was even doing this with the, the kite shield, the, the heater shield. Yeah, it's impossible to beat this guy. And it's not just, like, he comes with different armors, different weapons. Sometimes he comes with a one-handed weapon, sometimes a two-handed weapon. 
yeah, there's... I don't know how the Legends crew expect you to win this as an early game event. So, I'd either like to see this as a progressive event, whereas in the early game it's a little bit easier, and the late game it's a little bit harder. But the fact that this happens on, like, day one of a Lone Wolf start, I don't agree with that. Then that's why I don't agree with it. But we'll show you how we can lose. And maybe give you the slight emphasis as to why I don't want to do this. <laughs> oh, he's trying to go for the... Ha! Ah, that's funny. Oh, he takes the high ground. Okay, of course he does. I'm rolling on 40s. Oh boy. Oh boy. 46-35. Wait, why did that go to 35? Oh, Pattern Recognition and Survive. He has Pattern Recognition as well. Oh, crap. Let's go for the Surround Bonus. Come on, we got this. Well, that didn't work. Ah, and the eyes are the wrong way. <laughs> Enduriel, I have to let him know. Ah, uh, I have to let him know. Are the wrong way on enemies. <laughs> That's so good. I'll give him the log. I'm giving logs to everybody today, apparently. It's just bug finding stream. But if you guys have seen um, the red eyes, they're awesome when it comes to showing off Killing Frenzy. But my god, it's it looks a bit weird when they're on the wrong side of his face. I'm he do wait what I dodge a ninety five percent. He dodges an 18%. What a surprise. I get one shot with a headshot. Full armor. Full health. Yeah, that makes sense, chat. That makes a lot of sense. How would I feel if I won the fight? Ha! Game Berserker. Don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. If I won the fight. I'm not even considering that as an option. There's no way. I don't kid myself with that. Snowballs now? No, I didn't make you guys predict that. That was obvious. That was way too obvious. Stay focused, lads. Yeah, I know. I know we're going to get ambushed eventually. Uh, but I can predict for this fight, though. That is true. I'm worried we're going to lose this one. There we go. Will we win the second battle? This is technically our second battle. But what if I did, says Game Berserker? Yeah, yeah, what if, what if? What if the stars aligned and I dodged every 95% known to man? Yeah. Will I win the second battle? Is this possible? I highly doubt it. It is a hex fight. I'm pretty sure the little guy is going to die. I don't think I can save him. And I don't know what a $600 tier 1 hex fight's gonna be. I have no idea. Have a good night. No worries, Alvaro. Thanks for popping by. Do have a wonderful time. And thanks for popping by and saying hi. And enjoying the, uh... Whatever this is today. The insane difficulty. Insane difficulty. Imagine if he was crap and you win the fight and got him. Oh, actually, here, I'll explain how the fight works. Uh, with the champion, if you kill him in the 1v1, which is what you'd hope to happen, um, you will get his weapon, you won't get his armor, you won't get anything else. You get his weapon, and then what happens is, you send him on his way, you get permanent stats. You get permanent stats for beating him, and then after that, I think you get the option to recruit a random squire or something in the tavern. It just happens as the next event. I think those two events are linked. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that's how it works. But yeah. How to bet snowballs in this thing? If I click yes or no, but it bets for zero, says Blood Mess. 
I'm not sure. I think you go predict. And then I think you have to put a number in. In the shop, it tells you you can click on them. But no, you don't actually do it in the tavern, Highest Mongo, but it's just the event in a tavern. Oh my goodness. A few Hexen? This is a tier one quest! Oh dear. The only good thing about a few Hexen means the wolves and stuff are going to protect them. And I'm not charmable. I'm so glad I didn't bet this game, Berserker. Um, okay, so there's two Hexen. There's a friend... <laughs> this is a tier one quest chat. And there are three frenzies, two Hexen, and a knock. I hope most of you predicted no. You predicted evenly, 54%, 46%. Oh, I was not keen on this fight. Are you kidding me? Also, why am I at such low health? I was sure I healed up. Why didn't it heal me up whilst I was camping? Hey, Singularis, welcome to the stream. Uh, I don't like this. 40%, 36%. Pattern rec... Frenzy direwolves of pattern recognition? Are you freaking kidding me? Wow. I didn't have medical supplies for healing, says Blood Mist. <gasps> that makes sense. That actually makes sense. Yep, no, I'm dead. I take a 28% from the knock just for cracks and giggles, of course. Okay, little buddy, you're not going to survive this one. 9%, 41%. I'll take the damage, but that's not... I'm dead. Oh my goodness. So sounds stressed. Oh, I'm not stressed. It's just... Holy crap. Oh, wait. Oh, he got resist... He resisted the charm? Wait, chat. Can I... How did the game not end? How is this guy still counted as part of the fight? I guess because I'm controlling him? He escapes, but the game's over, though. Yeah, the game's over. <laughs> oh, God. Um, San Silla... Oh, how do I say that? San Sacabola HS? Uh, welcome to the stream, man. I really like YouTube videos and Battle Brother. Finally, a good streamer video maker that plays BB with Legends and PTR. Well, glad to hear you're enjoying it, man. And thanks for popping by to the stream. And I uh, hope you're enjoying uh, he did it to himself, taking the Hexen quest this early. I mean, I wanted to try it out, but my god. Sheesh. I knew it was going to be bad. I didn't just know it was going to be that bad. That is just horrible. I would not be allowed to click on that bet. Whatever, I don't like this bet thing anyway on Twitch, says Blood Mess. It's a lot of, a lot of gambling. But I mean, people like gambling, I guess. Um, will Snow win his second battle? Apparently not. I was, I kind of predicted that. I 100% predicted that I was not going to win. There was no way. Um, Murph, thank you very much for the tier 1 gifted sub to San Cibola HS. Appreciate the support, man. And congratulations for your free gifted, free gifted sub, my man. Alright, let's pop out of here. Let's go and restart. Uh, do random name and see what the one... One of the subs you stay alive the longest. See which one of the subs stays alive the longest. Oh, with the random name thing. I agree with this notion. <laughs> you see which sub lasts the longest. <laughs> um, Jeff the Jar, thank you very much for the follow. And San Shiabola HS, thank you very much for the follow as well. Legends Hype, definitely Legends Hype. Glad to have you, man. Welcome to the stream. Um, and we are constantly dying and suffering, though. Because of the Legends hype. 
But we are doing it on the hardest difficulty, for obvious reasons. And, uh, just trying to see how this new Lone Wolf start goes. It's not too bad, but there are some things where I'm like, hmm, yeah, hmm. It's really tough. Okay, so we tried Longsword. I don't like it. I don't have a good shield. I need a shield to start off with. Axe and Buckler? I'll try it. You get a Fighting Axe? That's actually really strong. That's a lot of damage. But a Buckler is garbage. I'll need to upgrade that Buckler sometime soon. Uh, we go Professional for sure. We go Survival Instincts. And then we go Pattern Recognition. That's all we can do. Um, Singlers, thanks for 100 bits. Appreciate the support. Uh, four, three, and obviously health is helpful. This character actually isn't... Oh my god, he's drunk. <laughs> Other than the fact that he's drunk, he's actually not too bad. He gets plus five resolve, which is nice. Okay, the stats are pretty decent. Night Owl's not helpful. Except for the range defense during nighttime, that's kind of nice. No Axe Master? Yeah, it's not going to happen. But the early game we'll have to see. Bad roll on talents. Uh, the the stars, the talents are all the same. They never change. They're always fatigue, melee skill, and melee defense, apparently, with the lone wolf start. So we just have to live with it. I'll know if I'll die for battle if it's me. Exactly, exactly. Um, how am I gonna do this? Let's do it like this, shall we? We'll do what we usually like to do, which is... Where's my spinner? Uh, it'll be this one. There's that spinner. There is the... Is it this one? What if I do it like that? No, that's not what I wanted. Yeah, it's this one. Okay. Control A, Control V. And then, can I get rid of all of these extra names that are not meant to be here? Yeah, why does the spinner do that? Remove all instances. Okay, now we're sorted. Uh, where are we, chat? Where are we? We are there with this and with... No, no, no. Stop, 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 stop. Sorted. Okay. I mean on the perks, they're also the same always. Yeah. Uh, no, those perks aren't always the same, I don't think. I think the perks might slightly differ with the um, masteries, but I could be wrong. Because I think one time I didn't have hammer mastery. So I think the weapon perks on the Lone Wolf do change sometimes. The other perks don't. But the weapon masteries do change. So there's three here, and they slightly differ. Make us believe we had a choice. Why do we ever give the axe as an option? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no mastery, no go. We need the help when Snow is risking it with all his luck. Exactly. Um, okay, so we will go to display capture. We'll get the spin going. Who is going to be our lone wolf today? It's Delborn. Congratulations. Hopefully Delborn is in chat. And we will see if Delborn survives. Hopefully. Good first one to die. Exactly, exactly. And we're trying out the axe build, which, oh my goodness, he comes with 70 armor and 70 high helmet. Oh dear, oh dear. I don't know if that's going to make a difference. 
Uh, what else are we gonna do? Oh my, how are we so far away from civilization? I am not gonna like this. Okay, I have to run to a city. And survive the dangerous roads. Slightly pausing along the way. Okay, it's not too bad. As soon as I say that, we're probably gonna get ambushed. Oh, we actually make there safely. Okay, that's good. There's a tier 2 available. A caravan? You know what? I'll take it. Free caravan, uh, free medical supplies. And I don't even care if this caravan doesn't make it. That's the best part. You don't take caravans to survive, you take them for the free camping, the free food. Uh, I don't like any of these. Do I go beat? No, I don't want to go beasts. I don't want to fight beasts. But I don't want to find my own location, and I don't want to do the 2,000... Maybe I do the two... Maybe I just go 2,000 crowns. Screw it. If the caravan succeeds, that's going to be awesome. If we ever get ambushed, we have someone else to try and defend us. And if all else fails, we can just ditch the caravan. Because screw the caravan. But it's... Oh, yep, there we go. There we go. Okay. They had us in the first half. I'm not going to lie. Brigands coming from the swamp, and then barbarians out of nowhere. I'd rather fight the brigands. Holy crap, I hate barbarians. It's only five, and the donkey's on high ground, but we are going to get tag teamed. That is 100% true. It was nice knowing you, Delborn. Um... We had a good run. I literally was gonna say, I can't wait to get jumped by barbs going north. Yep, well, three daggering caravan hands and throwing weapons. Yep. Holy crap, the game knows exactly what you're gonna say. Oh, I like this surround bonus though. This could actually be good. Oh, the dog. Screw you, dog. Oh, the daggers are working, yes. Yes, the caravan hands. And I have to deal with the dog, of all things. I get the dog kill! No way. This thrall needs to die. Caravan hand, beat him, beat him! No, he misses two sixties! Yes! Oh, the caravan hands are on fire. And then misses. A 69. Okay, chat. Do we believe? Oh, I didn't do a prediction. Fudge. Keep forgetting. I'll do a prediction for the next fight. Because I didn't think to win this one. We might actually win this. Oh, there's a stun. That's okay. That's okay. He's surprisingly dodging. Yes, join me. Join me for the surround bonus. Delborn is actually hitting 81s. 100% believe. No, the caravan should have waited. Now he's going to get stabbed by the spear. The spear's going to do damage. Oh, not that much. <gasps> the axe is winning. All oh, the daggers. And if these three survive, please tell me they survive. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Don't die, don't die, don't die. That means they'll be with us in the next fight. And I missed 270 freaking fours. Just steal my kill. I don't care. Come on, kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Thank you. Holy crap. How did we win that chat? How? Caravan hands carried me with daggers. What? How did that happen? Those hands be shaken. I even got javelins. I got stuff from this. There's no... How did we win that? This is the blessed run. Okay, so chat, prediction. 
Will we win the next fight? Will we win the next one? It's brigands? We somehow won the barbarians. I don't know how. That could have gone easy wrong with javelins, everything. Get javs in the equipment slot. What am I facing? I am currently going to be facing... A poacher, a few rabble poachers, and a few rabble. Which means it's probably four ranged enemies again, which is horrible. Absolutely horrible. I hate fighting the ranged weapons, and caravan hands hate fighting ranged weapons. Game Berserker believes. <laughs> we'll have to see. We'll have to see how it goes. I'll put javelins in the back pocket. I only have 40 range skill. I don't think it's going to make a difference. There's no way I'm going to be able to use these effectively. But I'll put them in the back pocket so I can loot more stuff, I guess. I don't know. I just don't want to use this thing. This thing's useless, so I'll put that on salvage whenever I get a chance. Yeah, I'm... Like, I've got a 50-50 on this fight. I'm not sure if we'll win. Um, because of the ranged fire, and it still is daytime. Yep, it still counts as daytime. You think the donkeys will be the focus? That is true. That is true. If the donkeys get focused, then it won't be as bad. Oh, we didn't predict this chat. They dragged us into the swamp. They dragged us off the freaking road and into the swamp. I am not gonna like this. Whoever voted no for this fight, you might be getting very, very rich. You might be getting very rich. I'm a little bit worried. I'm going to sit... Oh, fudge. Do I have to rush them? Do I actually have to rush them in the swamp? Um, there's an ad starting any second now, just to worry, uh, just to warn you guys. I will always believe in your victory, Snow. That way I will win no matter if you do. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You need to lose, please, says Drazus. Is Drazus the one who voted against me? Yeah, <laughs> he always puts a few points in there, just in case. Oh, I'm worried, because ranged attacks aren't affected by the, the reduction of um, the murky water. It reduces your melee skill, melee defense, range defense, but doesn't reduce your ra range skill. So I don't know how you can fire a bow whilst waist deep in murky water. Rush them through the bushes. I was thinking that. But they're not rushing me, so I think I have to rush them. Oh, wait, they're moving closer? Oh, they are moving closer. Okay, that's good. That's good, chat. I need to come back up here, then. They're missing everything, and it's not showing the numbers at the moment, which is unfortunate. Yeah, I'm not sure why it's not showing the numbers. Is it because they're invisible? That is weird. I like that the guard got an upgrade. Oh yeah, upgraded armors and weapons. Look at these caravans. They don't have daggers no more, boys. They definitely looted those um, barbarians. Wait, what are you... I need to go back under here. This AI is weird. Okay, they're rolling on 34s. Okay, full HP? Oh yeah, the full HP is the best part. So a downgrade. <laughs> yeah, from the daggers. Yeah, yeah, the daggers are better. Oh, come on. Just walk closer, you stupid... What's my levels? What's my stats? Not that amazing. 
Maybe I get out the the javelins. It was worth a try. They have negative range defense. My range attack isn't affected. Maybe the javelins are the right play to go. Yeah, go for the donkeys, you dumb guys. Go for the donkeys. Okay, they're moving in. That's good news. And the fact that I have Weapon Master allows me to switch to javelins for free. That's like a quick hands. So having javelins in the pocket was a really good idea, guys. Really good idea. Hey, they're starting to fight! Okay, we can win this. Because they're being stupid and they're charging. And they're trying to attack the everything else. 49, 18, 37. Let's go! Javelin with a beautiful hit. I think I've got one javelin left to throw. And then I can rush one of these archers. Okay, let's go, chat. Oh, he steals the kill. That's fine. I don't care, man. Beautifully done. Beautifully done. These Karen hands are carrying me. And I am not complaining in the slightest. Jump in the middle of both of those, switch for free, and ready for next turn. Let's go. I was worried, but because they rushed us, that was their fault. The AI never runs out of ammunition, so if they just stayed back and shot us to hell, they'd win. But seeing as the AI didn't realize they could do that, we get to win. Okay, 8% and a 5% back to back. We're used to that. We're used to it. 54 and a 54. Mm hmm. Nice. Good kills, good kills. Okay. That's a headshot if you've ever seen one. And I get two 5% again. Chat. Yep. That's... Maybe I, I spoke too soon. Maybe we are going to lose this one. Freaking 5%. I can't stop that. Keto Base asks, they don't run out of ammo? Nope. The AI never runs out of ammo. Um, that's hard-coded from vanilla. Because the developers were too lazy. Like, literally, they were too lazy and said it was too much effort to incorporate ammunition into the uh, enemies. So, the enemies never run out of ammunition. Sixty-one, are you kidding me? Come on. Well, at least they were honest. Yeah, like, they said it's too much effort to try and code it in. So, they, they told everybody, like, nah, enemies just have infinite ammo. I respect it. I mean, there's only three developers, so they have more important things to work on. Um, and they're like, it's too much effort. And I was like, fair enough. It's annoying, because you can't ever have sniper battles in this game. Unless your archers are insanely good at what they do, you shouldn't go for sniper battles in this game, because they'll just out-ammunition you. And out-fatigue you, because the enemies always have better stats. Always better fatigue. It's just... This game is always rigged against you. So if you ever have a certain thing that your bro can do, the enemy can probably do it better. Which is the way you have to remember this, how this game works, is just the enemies will do it better. Even in modded, like, unless it's, you get a mod that's really broken. Um, most modded enemies will still, like, have better things than you. So it's usually a game of wits and effort. Thank god we hit that beautiful hit. Oh, that's a good one. We're going to lose some more caravan hands if these guys get a bit more lucky on their shots. I'm going to lose my own life if these guys get some lucky shots on me. But luckily, they're not shooting me. Because they care a bit... Oh my goodness. They care too much about the caravans. But if I lose all the caravan hands, we lose the quest. So there's that part to it as well. And I kind of want to keep them alive. Misses the 89 to hit the donkey. The donkey's on three health. That donkey's living on a prayer. 
And we finally get the kill on this one. I need to charge this guy down. He's the scariest. One thing you need to remember with poachers and enemies is archers and crossbows are a hell of a lot scarier than slings in the early game. In the late game, slings are freaking scary. Are they fleeing? Please tell me they're fleeing. Yes! Yes! I'm not chasing them. No freaking way am I chasing them. The donkey survives on three health, and we still have two caravan hands. It's over. Oh, nicely done, chat. That's 200 bucks. That is a lot more than I was expecting. Let's go, Drake. This is sad. Whew. I was actually a little bit worried with that one. I was worried. But you guys predicted correctly. Good job. That means you guys don't get much for a reward, but well done, well done indeed. Just go for the upper enemy and leave the lower one to bleed. I mean, I could, but it's better just to... Better just to win that. Told you to believe, Snow, says Game Berserker. Game Berserker is just... You're my, my emotional support, support coach, basically. Just saying constantly believe. Just believe! It works. Alright, so I gathered seven units of medicine for my time here. Let's, um... Let's do a bit of salvaging, shall we? Whilst we try and heal up for the next inevitable ambush. I can't believe we've won two fights in a row. I mean, the caravan hands have carried me a little bit. And the bad starting armor, that is true. We do have very bad starting armor. We're on 70s. So, well done fights. Thanks, Jeff the Jar. And we're also on legendary difficulty with no money... With the bad economy. Yeah, we're doing everything bad as much as we can. And fortunately, we're surviving. And with the axe build that I wasn't expecting to win with. Chat, was that 14? Someone please tell me what number that was. I was distracted. Was that 14 thralls? If that's 14, we lose. If it's Oh, it's 7. Okay. Thank you, Jeff, for being better eyes than I am. Okay, so seven thralls is more than the five that we had initially. We only have two caravan hands left, I think. I'll put the prediction up. What are you guys thinking? What are we thinking? Uh, will Snow win the next fight? Come on, chat, silly thing, where is it? There it is. There we go. Welcome to the Himalayas! Snowcone? Solom, thank you very much for the resub with Prime for five months. Welcome to the stream, man, and thanks for the support. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Glad you're able to make it to the Lone Wolf stream, where, um... We are trying not to kill ourselves on a constant basis. But apparently, this time, we're doing okay. Except we keep getting ambushed by people on our caravan. But we're having caravan hands to distract, so maybe. Maybe there's a chance. More jabs as loot is possible, blood mess. But if it's seven, so it means six thralls and a hound. I'm worried that they might get better rolls. Is this the new patch? Oh, yep, we're on the newest patch. It, it does say it in the um, description that where it's got the mod updates. Um, but yes, no, we are on the latest, latest patches for Legends, PTR, um, and yeah, everything's updated. We're on the MSU, and we've got plenty of more fun things in store for the future because of this wonderful patch. But today we're just playing around with the Lone Wolf start, which is super hard, and we're on the hardest difficulty, making Legendary Combat difficulty, Legendary Economy difficulty, no starting funds, you know, we're just all the masochistic way of dealing with things. So we'll have to see. I can see some of chat's voting for the fact that I might lose this. I do agree, this is a risky fight. Viewers in your region can only predict the zero snowballs, thus I predict snow wins. Interesting. Why is it not letting you predict? I know the prediction thing's in like beta stage, it's like still being fixed. That's weird, Ulrich. I do apologize that it's not working, but I've got no idea how to change that. I think it's just Twitch. 
It's just Twitch being Twitch. But I appreciate you predicting me winning. I appreciate it. We'll have to see what happens. And we'll have to see how well equipped the caravan hands are this time. That is true. Okay, one's missing a helmet, but other than that, they're decently equipped. Got the same thing, says Blood Mess. Ah. Uh, hardest part of this is Snow's luck. <laughs> exactly, Naga. My luck is that five of them have throwing weapons. Five of them! Not every barbarian thrall spawns with throwing weapons. Two, three, four of them have shields. And two of them has spears, one of them has a cleaver, and three of them have clubs. I just want them to go after the donkeys, please. Danish laws, I think, might be able to bet with a VPN. Oh, I see. Is it like a gambling thing? It's gambling fake money, so I don't... I really don't think it should count as gambling. But I understand, I understand. Good luck, Game Berserker. Yeah, I know I will need it. Uh, oh, I forgot I had my own javelins. Why didn't I think about that? I should have thrown them from here. I forgot I could quickly switch to javelins. Oh no, don't walk forward, Mr. Caravan Hand! No, don't do it! You'll die! Weird rotate. Oh, wait, he's dodging most of them. If you waste all their ammunition, then good job, Mr. Caravan Hand. Oh, they're rolling on eights. He's got survival instinct? Since when do Caravan Hands survive survival instinct? Why does this Caravan Hand have not survival instinct? Well, maybe he does, but it doesn't show it. That's weird. But that's actually awesome. Uh, do I wait for the dog to come closer? I think so. The dog doesn't want to come closer? That's really weird. I think I let the survival instincts guy tank. Actually, this is hilarious. I think that's the right call, chat. Survival instincts. Yeah, he took a hit, that's fine. Okay, he took that hit on a flipping what? I mean, they're almost out of ammunition. He's a caravan Chad. He is. He is the Chad. But how did he take that 11% to the face? Oh, I feel bad for him. Typical snow luck. Mm-hmm. But he's making them waste all their ammunition, which is all I care about. Good. Good. There's only three shots left. Two shots left. One shot left. And he dodges them! He's still alive. He's barely alive, but he's alive. I'm gonna wait for the dog to rush me. He didn't rush me. Okay. The caravan hand goes in. Oh yes, go for the donkeys, go for the donkeys. Um, do I go here with the axe? No, I go here with the throwing weapon, right? Oh goodness, that's not gonna work. Nope, that's not gonna work. I'm still gonna try and play this safe. That guy's gonna possibly get... Oh, the... Spear! I didn't think about that. But good kill. Good kill, caravan hand. Good kill. Yep, donkeys. That's fine. That's just meat shields. 180 health. That's fine. He dodges a 19. He's a god! Double 70s! Yes! We can 1v1 this guy. We don't take a bad hit. And he's slowly bleeding. Chat. I'm beginning to believe. I'm. Oh, he gets the spear wall correctly? He gets a headshot? He's still alive? I am beginning to believe. Oh! 
Oh, and he finally dies. Oh, man. Rip for the caravan hand. The amount of work that single caravan hand did. The second one's still alive, though. The second one's still in this. And I miss a 60%, but he dies to the bleed. That's fine. 40% melee defense, 40% initiative. We outspeed him with the caravan hand. Okay, you can... No, we got stunned! Dang it! He could have gotten the kill. I get the headshot. That's beautiful. Yeah, I'll fight you 1v1, buddy. As long as this guy doesn't die. He gets stunned again. <gasps> They're starting to flee. Come on. No, he came back? What? Weird caravan hand. Not caravan hand. Weird barbarian thrall. We got it. We got it. We got it, chat! Run him down! No, wait, don't die. Oh, I'm exhausted. I can't go for the hit. Yes? Yes! The caravan hand gets the kill! Ha 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 ha! Chat! It worked! MVP Chad! See, believe in me that believes in use as Game Berserker. Exactly. Caravan Hand's carrying us to victory. Holy crap. One dollar. That fight was worth one dollar do. But we get some stuff, I guess. <laughs> I buffed Caravans back in December, says Uber, if I recall correctly. Really? Fair enough. One remains. One Caravan Hand remains. I don't remember them getting survival instincts, though, but nicely done, Uber. Nicely done. Oof. Oh, boy, indeed. That's our third fight in a row, chat. Good job on the predictions. I wasn't sure if we'd win that. I actually wasn't sure. But congratulations to those who predicted the answer yes. I got one coin from the one I picked up off the ground. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much indeed. Definitely Fs for the... No, it's happening again, chat. It's happening again! <laughs> we cannot catch a break. We cannot catch a break. This is, this is gonna be the infinite caravan. These guys are coming out of the freaking ground. Out of the woodwork. This is the fourth fight we'll have. On this single caravan. And we might just lose our last caravan hand on this fight. It is free experience. It's free loot. We'll have to see what happens. But, as usual, your time to predict... I do get a lot of heads. Only if I kill them myself, Naga. That's the only thing. We only have 6 out of 20. Because I've only killed 6 guys. The Caravan Hand's killed everything else for me. Getting paid per head maximum profit. Yeah, that is true. Um, Reese 8. Welcome to the stream, man. Passive Lurker here. Hi, Snow and Chat. Got a question. What am I supposed to do with my snowballs now that the wheel is gone? Ah, oh, basically we're doing predictions. So predictions are happening for every fight. You can gamble them to try and win. So if you get the prediction correctly, you can get some of the spoils of the um, of the channel points. Try not to predict. Try not to use up too many of the points whilst you're predicting, because I don't think it gives you all of your points back. I think it only gives you whatever the reward is. But I'm not 100 percent sure on that. But yeah, we're not doing any channel points this stream for the spins. It's just because we're doing the lone wolf start to try and be like super hardcore. Super try-hardy, super, like, legendary difficulty. Um, but normally we do spins. We'll do spins again tomorrow. And um, the next stream that we'll do for this series is... We'll still do probably Lone Wolf next week if we feel like it. Um, but the next stream series for Saturday will be a spinning stream. Like, the next committed series. Um, but it's just this sort of in-between series that we're playing with Lone Wolf. That is all about the predictions. Predicts all your snow points on snow dying. Next fight, says Murph. 
I mean, you never know. You never know. We are running out of caravan hands. Naga says 100 pits for the good luck. Hope you win. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Absolutely appreciate it. I don't know why that... Oh, it did say... It did have some noise to it. It's just being a little bit slow because of the prediction thing. But let's jump into it. Let's see what we get. Double grip for the win, says Blood Mess. Hey, I mean, if it's a bunch of rabble, we can probably deal with them. And we got a caravan hand with no shield. Gonna continue to lurk. No worries, man. Have fun as well, man. Have a good day. Uh, War Dog, we have to get rid of him. That works. I think we win this one, though. As soon as I say that, 5% from the dog, of course. Um, I'm worried about that caravan hand. Please take care of yourself, buddy. His glorious mullet. Yeah, he's got a good mullet. Oh, they snipe their own guy! Oh, that's actually crucial. And I get rid of the guy with the spear. Oh, okay, okay. That's actually king. Caravan hand gets the kill. It's game over. Round three, and it's game over. I think that's how we do it. Yep. Oh, and I think I was actually worried. Hey, Snow, did you hear that the man who originally invented the throat lozenger passed away recently? The throat lozenger? Really? That sounds like a setup for a joke, though. <laughs> did he actually pass away, this throat lozenger guy? Who invented the throat lozenger? How often do we see friendly kills now? No, I mean, in the previous run we did see a lot of those. But in terms of caravan hands, we don't see enough. Oh, I'm so happy. There is no coffin at his funeral. Yeah, I thought so, Epo. I thought you were winding up for a joke. It was predictable. Also, where is this? Oh, he's down here. There's no coffin at his funeral. <laughs> That's horrible and you know it. I'm leaving this guy to leave. That was easy. That was easy chat. What was I worried about? We actually get an upgraded armor piece. I think that's an upgrade. Murph says throw lozenger these nuts. <laughs> I mean... Wrong joke, but yes, we do get an armor upgrade. Plus 10 armor to our helmet. That is nice. We get a spare buckler in case our first one dies. That is also nice. That's cash money chat. Easy win. Good predictions, boys. Good predictions. Definitely win that one. Are we going to get fought again? That's the other trick question. Are we going to get ambushed once again on our wonderful route to victory? Hey, Stefan, welcome to the stream, man. Good morning. Good to have you. This is our most successful run so far, surprisingly. And our destination is right there. No, 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 I'm not going to get myself killed just for this. Stupid champion. Go away. No way that's happening. Oh, Epo's got the joke stream. Uh-oh. What she got? Why do milking stools have three legs? I don't... I don't know? Why does milking stools have three legs? I'm assuming this is a bad joke, because I know what three-legged jokes are all about. Because the cow's got the other... <laughs> that's actually a good one. That's actually a good one. That's that's better than the coffin one. That That's actually good. <laughs> and here I was thinking it was something different. The axe is working out, says Solemn. Surprisingly, I was not expecting that. I was not expecting the axe to actually work. Okay, caravan to the south, chat. Let's go on a journey again. We got paid a minuscule amount. But it's working. I don't care about the retinue. I don't care, event. Why would I care about the retinue on day three?
I know my renown's actually pretty high, but I don't care. Oh wait, we're going through the danger town. Will we get ambushed once again? The possibility is there. This is what happens if we don't use Snow's name. Oh yeah, I don't get I don't curse the run. That's what happens. Oh, we get ambushed. Yep. As soon as I said it, I was like, oh, we're going to get ambushed this run. Yep. Of course we did. Oh, I forgot to do the prediction before you guys saw the combat, but that's okay. You guys get to predict after seeing the... Ooh. The horrible way this fight's going to start. But there's the prediction. Uh, weirdly spread out caravan hands. A bit worried about that. The donkeys are spread out through three trees. A forest fight could be good. But I'm worried about the throwing weapons, as per usual. Hmm. It's not my turn yet, which is weird. And my frames do tank when OBS keeps doing these polls. I don't know why OBS steals up so much of my RAM... Or, what is it, my CPU? To do all these polls? I don't know why it does that. It's the most annoying thing. But, do get your predictions in. It's the exact same fight as last time in terms of... It's six barbarian thralls, a dog, and then us in caravan hands. Uh, we've got a beautiful glaive, a nice spear, Buddy's double grip, so he doesn't have a shield. And then a dagger bro, with actually good armor. So the dagger bro is going to survive. The glaive's going to survive. I'm not thinking the spear's going to survive. But I hope they can dodge all the ranged attacks. That's the thing. Easy 3.2 giveaway. The PC upgrade was a scam. <laughs> poles are evil or Snow needs a PC upgrade? No, I think it's the Poles. I think OBS just tanks. I will do the PC upgrade, but I don't know what's wrong with OBS. Like, seriously, it's just a poll. And it takes up more effort than the stupid game takes up. <laughs> I see the homemade rum hasn't been drank. There's an ad starting any second just to warn you guys. Um, rum is gross. It reminds me of some long forgotten weekends at college. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, so predictions are in. Well, he got me the money too fast, wasn't ready for it. Yeah, exactly, Murph. I put the PC upgrade for one stream, and you got me all the money, and I was like, what do I do now? I was waiting that to, like, last a month or something, at least. You, you spoil me too much, my man, and the, I, I don't know how to handle it. And I wasn't even prepared to upgrade it immediately. I was like, oh, yeah, I'll get, I'll get the parts in the future, and I'm sure I'll sort it out. I'll look at my options, I'll find some time, I'll schedule it in, and then now I don't know what to do with it all. Okay, we have the high ground dagger. Okay, that's actually good. Oh, the spear ball doesn't work, and the dog hits on a one. Of course he does. The dagger's winning. Caravan hands have Pathfinder. Damn, that's good. Uh, what do I do now? I gotta help this caravan hand. These two are fine. And the dog hits me on a... Twenty-five freaking percent! I hate dogs. Why do they do this? Why do they do this to me? I wanted to get to that square to get out of range of these stupid javelins. Yes, please kill the dog for me, you darn caravan hand. They're trying to go for the donkeys. Good job. Please go for the donkeys. Don't throw axes at me. Thank you. Ah, oh, spear. Yeah, I was thinking that was going to be a problem. The dagger boy is on fire. The spear boy misses a 76. The dog's dead. Yes. Let's go. I get a 58. Nice. Instead of getting scammed, we can invest that money to make scams. This is perfect. <laughs> sure, sure. If we don't blast snow with money, what's the use of it? Dog's trying to end the run. Oh yeah, the dog will try and do that to us. The dagger boy's on fire. Let's freaking go. 
These caravan hands are carrying us so strong. Also, that barbarian just got wrecked, and we didn't even see how we got wrecked. Yes, Delborn the head shop. Let's go. Uh oh, uh oh, Dagger Boy, come on. Yes. Oh, I'm getting 1v1. That's fine. That's okay, he's surviving. I thought he was gonna be the first to die. Okay, that middle one is getting wrecked. Oh no, the caravan hand got wrecked. I miss a 76. Of course I do. Dagger Boy's starting to miss. I'm dodging 5%, so that's good. Oh, he gets stunned. Caravan Hand gets a kill, but he's got to cut artery. And I can't save him. Because I don't have enough for bandages to get him. I need six action points. I would use my bandages on this Caravan Hand. Oh, Dagger Boy. Oh, wait. Maybe I don't have to. Chat, we might win this. Yes, I didn't have to save him. GG. Beautiful. Nerf caravan hands has traced this. How are we winning these? I don't even know. But I'll take it. I'll so take it. The dog's trying to end the run and Singa says I can't get my own dog. <laughs> no, I don't have a dog and I'm good without them for the moment. <laughs> Enjoy my snowballs chat, says Murph. Murph's donating to the community, which is really lovely. 78 versus 2. We did win the next fight. This run is the golden run for the time being. For the time being. I don't want to jinx it. I was ready for the press F, says Sauron. Yeah, we didn't lose the caravan hand, though. That was awesome. Better shield? Actually... You know what? You might be right. That is kind of a better shield. The buckler gives you a little bit in a 1v1 situation, but Ulrich, you might be right. I don't like using the shield, which is why I ignored it, but I might have to use it. Uh, let's salvage that. Let's salvage the buckler because I have a spare shield here. And we continue. Who needs armor? I know, right? We're surviving on such low armor, even though we keep getting ambushed. The peasants might get ambushed here. Uh-oh. If Murph has... Wait, what did I miss? If Murph has 150 candy bars and eats 125, what does he have when he's done? A fat-ass diabetes. <laughs> oh my goodness. I mean, you're kind of not wrong there. Kind of not wrong. But I usually jinx it, says Singularis. Yeah, I usually do jinx it. He has less candy. I mean, that's also true. We successfully do two caravans. And it's day five. Chat, this is lovely. Can I go for another tier one? What is it? Defend from raiding parties? At a tier one? I don't know. This is Murph trying to stir up the... The skin ghoul conversation? Does Epo look like a skin ghoul? I don't know, man. <laughs> I can't tell. But I can see the, um... The, uh, rivalry is going strong. <laughs> you know what? I might defend Phil Moose. Phil's Moose from the raiding parties. I might be able to do it. Unless- I know- I know what I need to do. Before I defend... I need... That's an armor upgrade for me, and it's very cheap. Are there any weapon or shield upgrades? There's a shield there for 100 bucks. I've got shield experts, so that could work. Yeah, I'll spend 100 bucks on a shield. But there's no attachments. That sucks. Like, we, we actually gave this guy a caravan, this city a caravan, and they're not giving us attachments. Okay, at least I get some sort of upgrade. So from a 20 to a 30, that's 10 armor for the body, and then that also gives me a better shield, which means I can salvage these two. Unless one of them breaks. Maybe I... No, I'll salvage, I'll salvage. 
Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Do you guys think we will win the defense of the city? Let's go for another prediction, boys. I don't know what's going to attack us. I'm assuming it's, um... Brigands. But I can't say for sure. It is Brigands! Okay, I was right. It's $400 quest. It should be just one set of Brigands. Okay, I can't salvage any more max tools. Fair enough. Jeff the Jar believes. I'm glad to hear you believe. A, it's only rabble and rabble poachers and a normal poacher. That's possible. Easy money. Easy money. I think we've got this, chat. Hey, you guys are thinking 50-50. All in. Ooh, you are, there's a lot of votes for this fight. There's a lot of prediction points on the on the um on the line. If we get lit up by archers, there's a single rabble, so there's there's five ranged characters. Oh no. Oh no, there's five ranged characters. If we get shot to hell, this could be bad. But if we can rush the archers before they shoot us to hell, we might be able to win this. And if the dog, that's the other thing. 29 on our shield. And they have high ground. Why do they all have high ground? This game hates me. This game actually hates me. The shield is big, though. The shield is very big for this fight. Remember to use javs? Oh, that's right. I do have javs. Um, you know what? I'm going to ignore the dog. Please don't hit me. Don't hit me. And now they don't have a high ground advantage. Okay. The dog will keep trying. Fast adaptation. Not fast adaptation. I've got a pattern recognition and survival instincts. I can survive this if I keep dragging these guys to the archers. I need to go here. I absolutely need to go here. Murph goes, there goes my snowballs. I mean, I didn't have to worry about the dog as much. So let's go for this. My pattern recognition is doing okay. That gives me plus four. That gives me plus one against the rabble, who's already rolling on sevens. Got it. Let's go. Okay, so that's two archers stopped. And the fast, the uh, the survival instincts is what keeping me alive here. Because there's so many misses happening against me, they're all rolling fives. Oh, if you don't get survival instincts on your bros, you're missing out on so much. Oh, that's beautiful. Don't they have a bonus for me being closer? They do. But they're having reduced accuracy because of the um, survival instinct stacks. And keeping the dog alive and the bandit rabble alive is the right play. Uh, I think I showed you that tactic um, in the Crusader run on YouTube. So remember, the tactic that we used in that series was we would always keep like the orc young alive and we'd keep like the really weak skeletons alive because they were really good for stacking our survival instinct and pattern recognition. So they'd always roll in 5%, and even if they did hit, they wouldn't do much damage. And it was always the bigger guys and the more scary things we went for, which is what I'm doing here. So the bigger and scary guys here, weirdly enough, is the uh, poachers. And that big poacher up there is the scariest one of all. They also have entrenched. Um... Uber, I need to... Fudge, Uber, I need to show you another log. Uh, where is the PTR? My good man, Uber. You're getting another log from me. He's gonna enjoy that. Um, enemy poacher and rabble poachers getting entrenched. 
when no ally, no um, melee allies are around them. Because that is not how entrenched works. <laughs> Unless the AI get a bonus that I'm not aware of, that is not how that works. Hammer can use destroy armor. Oh yeah, that hammer can hurt. But he's rolling on 5%. So I'm just hoping that he doesn't get lucky. Normally I hate those hammers. But I'm just hoping he doesn't get lucky. And because he's following me around on 5%, it's just a little bit more helpful than being shot by arrows. That feeling when you're playing on a version of Legends that's not so old, you don't have survival instincts. That is so old you don't have survival instincts, Game Berserker. Oh my goodness, you don't have survival instincts on your Legends. That sucks. And PTR. Let's hope there's one more fight for this quest, says Murph. Oh dear. No, it's $400. There's no way they send a second group of brigands against us. That would be insane. Also, that's a good kill. Good survival instincts, good pattern recognition. Archer accidentally shoots the rabble! Oh, poggers, that's amazing! Yes! Oh, and we miss a 90 freaking 2! One of these days, chat. We get the perfect luck for us and the perfect luck against us. That is... That is something else. And he's still fleeing. Holy crap. Shoots ally using aimed shot. Oh, we broke our shield. I was not paying attention to the shield. Stupid poacher. I prize clarity being stronger over the new stuff, says Game Berserker. Ah, oh, yeah, I see what you mean. Clarity's pretty good. I don't think I can run this guy down, though. Yeah, it's over. Do I get a new shield? Nope. And I already sacrificed one of the good shields I had. Well, mistakes were made. Get rid of one of those. Actually, no, I'll do it like this, like this, and like this. Wait, do I have auto loot on? Please tell me I have auto loot on. Yay! It was only a one fight quest. I thought so. And I do have auto loot on. Thank the lord for that. Okay. So, buckler it is. Back to the good old days. But that was worth it. That's a lot of money. It's a lot of tools. Uh, I will keep that spear in hand. I'll keep the spare shields because apparently I'm losing them a lot. We get a level up, boys. We get a level up. Uh, I think it's underdog time. I've got to go full defensive. No matter what I choose, it has to be defensive. So underdog is king. And then lone wolf is king. And then my defenses will be great. And then I get to go with offense because of lone wolf. Uh, bye, snowball, says Murph. He was hoping we'd lose that one. Um, Epo's heading off to bed. Thanks for popping by, though, man. Uh, we did win the last fight, so good predictions for those who chose there. Um, but thanks for popping by and enjoying the stream, man. We'll see you soon. And have a good sleep. Uh, for this run, we'll get more bros than just the solo bro. Uh, Sauron, we will get more bros. It just depends on how um, strong we get. And uh, the only way we can get more bros is through the event where we 1v1 the stupid champion. And, uh, I have no way of beating a champion until I get Lone Wolf, until I get Battleforged, until I get good armor, until I get Rebound, I think? Yeah, no, there's... Or maybe Unstoppable, too. That would be nice. But yeah, no, no. Getting a new bro is going to be so freaking hard. I'm not looking forward to the pain and suffering that is a new bro. So we're going to be alone for a very long time. I'm predicting that. 400 bucks, that's going to go good for our war fund. We're sitting on positive 800, chat. That's new. We're in the positives. Well, apparently they didn't refresh their shields, so I'm going to have to go somewhere else. And there's no quests. 
Put in 20k, so 20k win there, says Naga. Nice. You got 40k? Damn. Okay, so you are getting the numbers you put back if you win. That's good to hear. I wasn't sure about that. Also, is that a... That's a small village. Small settlements. Okay, good, good, good. So I'm going the right way. I was worried I was going the wrong way. In the meantime, I was still waiting for my recruitment event to fire at level 10. Really? I mean, that's the better for time for it to fire, but fair enough. Interesting to know. Uh, we got a tier 1 available. Secure the Cemetery of the Restless. Okay, undead are painful as hell. Yeah, I, I guess I could do it. It's money, it's XP. If I get a high ground, that would be really nice. Um, if I get a really good spot where I can hide in a corner. I'll bring a spare buckler instead of this javelins. That's a better idea, I think. Yeah. Salvage that, even though we don't really need to. And then I need to repair that. Uh, I'll wait till morn. No, I don't want to wait till morning. I do need to wait till morning because my character hates being scared. Yeah, I have to wait till morning. I don't get a choice. I can't fight at night anymore. Oh, wait, is this not the scared character of night? Oh, we've been through too many characters. I don't have to wait till morning. But I want to wait till morning because I want to see if there's anything I can upgrade my armor with. <gasps> Never mind! We get someone in the party, chat. Let's flip and go. This is the recruitment. I will take you as my squire. Let's go! He's not going to be able to join the fight, though. So this is one thing that I'm worried about. How... How does this work? How do I increase my party size in battle? I don't know. I have no way of forcing that increase. So he's not going to fight for us. Which is so weird. I don't know if that's right. Which is why I'm going to send my log to Uber again. <laughs> I'm just going to keep peppering him. There we go. So, constant sending of logs today. There we go. He's going to enjoy having to read all those. <laughs> but for the next name, let's go on my spinner, which um, I can actually put up on the screen. There we go. Oh, it is Zlockied. There we go. There we go. Welcome. As our brand new squire, who will not be able to fight, unfortunately. But welcome to the team. And uh, I can give you a spear, I can give you some javelins, I can give you a bow. All sorts of stuff to empty up my inventory a little bit. Just in case. Because then it gives me more inventory space, which is all I really care about. More inventory space. Stats-wise, this squire is not that amazing. Oh, we can make him a polearm build? Hey, that actually works. Weird that he has favorite enemy archer, though. Mind over body... Oh, okay. Okay. Mind over body polearm. He's got tactician. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Zaki, welcome to the stream, man. And welcome to the team. Caravan quest only, then, says Naga. It seems like it. He's got bloodthirsty for the head chops. I know, right? If only I could bring him into the zombie fight and I could gear him up. Then in the zombie fight, he would be amazing. But, yeah. Unfortunate. Party size increases in dependent on renown. I know. It's dependent on 1400. I'm really close. I'll have to see how it works. 
I'll have to see how it works. Oh no, I'm gonna die. This is so lucky. <laughs> You're not gonna be in the fight though, but maybe you'll die. We'll have to see how it works. Um, I'm gonna quickly check the shop for some more stuff. Blood Mess, thank you very much for the tier one gifted sub to Zlockied. Appreciate the support for the channel and congratulations for your free gifted sub, man. Um, but yeah, maybe the party size will increase at that next level. Um, I'm gonna buy a wooden shield because I think I need it. I'm also going to buy the straw hat. Is that an upgrade? It is. So I'll buy it. There is no other upgrades available. Yep, okay. So then we rock up into battle like this, looking like a very fancy lone wolf. And undead, here we go. It's really close to town. They should really reconsider where they um, put their cemeteries. Oh, I forgot the prediction. What are you guys thinking? Undead is always a fight of attrition. I don't know if we can deal with the attrition unless we get a really good spawn. If we get a really good spawn and find some really good red spots, we could deal with this. Uh, zombies don't have good accuracy, usually the early game. Um, if it's armored zombies with really good weapons, they might be able to get some good hits on us. But if they're just biting us, it could be easy. So I'm thinking there's a chance that we can do this well. We have pattern recognition. We've got Shield Expert. Our shield will probably not break. Yeah, I think we could possibly win this. Unless there's a Necro. If there's a Necro, we're screwed. Knowing our luck. Yeah. Even a Lone Wolf needs to keep the sun out of their eyes sometimes, says Jeff the Jari. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Uh, Blood Mess says you're safe for now, no party size to get you in danger. Um, until he gets dragged in by deadly caravan ambushes. That's true. Oh, he would get, he'd get dragged in by caravan ambushes. That's right. I forgot about that. I read the most important part, we have a straw hat now. Exactly, exactly. So the predictions are getting pretty even across the board. Yep, we might. Not many people are willing to risk too many snowballs, which is understandable. We're not sure about this fight. We're not sure. It could be interesting. We don't know what's in there. And it all bases on, is there enough red spots that we can go to? And is there a necro? Two most important things. I need to get him some armor. Yeah, but there weren't any good armors in town. So I need to, I really need to equip our new guy. Definitely need to equip him up. Especially if we go for some ambush caravans. Alright, let's jump in. Oh, I have some red spots. I have a high ground. I have a high ground next to red spots. Oh, that is awesome. There's 13 enemies. And none of them are fast. Oh, there's a high ground over here. None of them are possessed. Okay, it's 13 zombies, chat. One of them has a shovel, one of them has a hammer. Cleaver. Oh, I hate the pitchfork ones. And one has a stupid... Uh, what is it? A staff. That's what they call those things. Okay, my favorite spot to sit is here, I think. Single high ground. No one else can be on the same high ground as me. I have a single tree next to me to make it 5v1 instead of 6v1. Uh, no other spot offers that much support. Okay, so I found my favorite spot. I'm going to sit there and wait for them to come to me. I'm going to really get pissed off at the um, pitchfork and the staff, though. Those are the only two that I really don't want to deal with. But there's a lot of easy ones to work with, so these guys will be easy. It's just the weapon ones that I don't want to deal with. Alright, we sit here and we chill out, boys. Let's hope we get some fatalities. Hope we get a few head chops before we start running out of fatigue. Let's hope our shield doesn't break. But that's why I brought a spare shield. If it starts to break, I do need to keep looking after it. And I can easily just switch to this shield instead. 
Nice, nice. They're slowly staggering towards us because they have to go to the high ground and whatnot. Funnily enough, zombies don't get Pathfinder. So they're actually affected by terrain in terms of action points, not in terms of fatigue, because they never use fatigue. Oh, you're here early, aren't you, Mr. Staff Zombie? Nice to meet you. Ah, zombies with reach weapons. Painful. But he misses five, so that's good to know. Alright, what are we going for? We're going for the easy kills. They're both the same, pretty much. Doesn't get the kill. Unfortunate. Overwhelm? Fudge. Chat, we have a problem. I hate that zombies get overwhelmed. That's a kill, doesn't get his confidence. Are you kidding me? And he has no way of resurrecting because he's got no friends around him. That's good, that's actually good. We lose a morale state, we get hit on a 26. Oh chat, we're gonna lose this one. I do not see us doing well. I think I got a good bet, Overwhelm. Yep, I think you guys, the ones who betted know. We take three head damage. And we get our morale check. What? Do they have Fearsome? They have Fearsome. There's a second Pitchfork Zombie. No. Chat. I'm rolling on 35s and I can only hit once a turn. It's over. It's over. That was a... We're gonna lose this. I love that the Pitchfork Zombie over there is not hitting me. That's very nice of him. Um, there's an ad starting any second now. Um, holy crap. I need this kill to give me a morale state. And a head chop. It does 39% reduced damage. And my baffle does 15% reduced damage. I mean, the pattern recognition's helping. Survival instinct is helping. Oh my goodness. Next, we're gonna try crossbow. Yep, it's over. GG, chat. This ad's starting any second now. GG. Don't fight undead. Just don't fight undead. It's not worth it. I thought we'd have it because of high ground, because of high stats. It's just the RNG. It's... it's over. And unfortunately, um, Zlucky, my man, you're gonna lose your character, because if we lose the player character, it's over. I'm, I like betting this digital money, where's the nearest casino? I'm hooked now, thanks, no, says Murph. <laughs> hey man, I mean, I think you won this time, Murph. I think you bet it against me. And therefore, you guys, whoever said we weren't gonna win this fight, you're correct. How did- oh, that's a 36 and he hit us in the face! No, that was the bit. no, he hit us in the body and did that much damage. Wow. Dealing no reduced damage. The zombie can hit a 30% no reduced damage. But I can't hit, what is it, a 46? And not get reduced damage by, like, a chunk? Oh my goodness. It's cool, I'm chilling at camp not knowing. Yeah, that's true. You don't actually have to die. Your character will just disappear into, like, Thanos snapped. That's all. Oh boy. I don't know how you're supposed to play ranged lone wolf bros. Oh, rain, uh, Stefan, the only way you play ranged lone wolf bros is by constantly making other people fight for you. That's how you do it. You know how we played the, uh, the scaling beggar? That's the only way to do it. 
All my bets is in a win, so sorry, Snow. That's okay, Naga. Some people who bet lose every now and again can win as well. But we did well. Like, this was our best run. And it was with the axe of all things. We, we abused Caravan Hands. And we got ourselves really far into this. Yeah, am I going to lose a stash item? No, I'm not going to continue. No, no, I don't want to lose that stash item. No, no, I don't want to lose that stash item. Fine, I'll lose the stash item. Oh, wait, the game's over? Oh, I lost the stash item anyways. <laughs> and then Zlockeed is nowhere to be found. He went back to town. That's all it was. We left him at town. We gotta pick him up next time. Okay, so... We'll try out a new start. Maybe we go range this time. Maybe we do go crossbow. And we try and do more caravan fights where we're not the ones in combat as often. We'll see how it goes. We'll see what we can do. Maybe we go ranged. I don't think we'll get a good ranged bro. That's the thing. Why does it give you a ranged option if your lone wolf never gets ranged stats? The legends crew, I'm not sure. Polearm? Polearm could work. Okay, so our options are crossbow and cutting weapon, bow and dagger, and pike. We don't get ranged stars. Yeah, they didn't think about that. No, they didn't think about it. The Legends crew didn't think about it. So I don't think the ranged are any anything to do with. Maybe the pike. I just don't like the fact that in melee it's garbage. We can try it for the fun of it. It's just the negative accuracy in melee. Minus 15%. But it does a lot of damage. Um, Solom's asking, is the training hall viable for Lone Wolf to try and power level? Um, I normally don't like the training hall, my man. I never really use it unless I'm, like, insanely rich. And at the moment, we're playing a hard way where we don't get much money. So I would not use it. Um, Solemn, the thing that I use to power level bros is the Potion of Knowledge. I find that to be so much more valuable than Training Hall. If you want to power level a bro, go to the south, spend a grand for three battles, you get double XP. A Training Hall will only spend, what is it, like 300 bucks for 50% XP for your next battle. And that's not, like, even close to as effective as a training potion, which is the potion of knowledge. Just go potions all the way, man. You can stack them in your inventory. You can use them whenever needed. You don't always have to go back to a training hall after every single fight. Yeah, potion of knowledge always trumps a uh, training hall. That's just my two cents there, my man. You went from 5k snowballs to 41,000, says Naga. Oh my goodness. Also, I forgot to do the prediction thing. Did I did I end it? Yeah, there we are. 72% of you guys thought we were going to lose that fight. Good job on your prediction. There you go. Congratulations to all your free points, the ones who correct, correctly guessed. And uh, yeah, no, we, we do not like fighting undead. That is definitely the truth. And I think I go pointy end. Or do I go... No, I go professional still. Gives me a reach advantage. Do I do it? Not really. Pointy end's 10%. So you see the weapons have been changed. Now there's spear, axe, and hammer. I think I go pointy end into survival, into pattern. It's weird, but it'll work. Or we'll just probably die because I don't think I don't think we're winning this one. I don't think Pike's the right way to go. But I'm willing to try it just for the fun of it. But I I'm not too sold on Pike being the right choice. Which is why I'd like to see a different variety of weapons. I'd like to see, like, mace and shield, hammer and shield, 
sword and shield, spear and shield, two-handed spear, two-handed mace. Not like crossbow and slashing weapon, whatever a slashing weapon is. Not a bow and a dagger. There's no way you solo as a bow and a dagger. Like, come on. Should have taken the daggers to Sauron. <laughs> cutting damage is good early. Yeah, cutting damage is good. But, yeah, I don't know. Take perks to help you one-shot enemy if possible. The 10% chance to hit with the miss. Yeah. Sometimes I'm happy I can't bet snowballs. Says Blood Mess. Yeah, gambling. I'm not much of a good gambler myself. Cleaver? Oh, Cleaver would be good too, Jeff. Exactly. I was betting against myself. <laughs> you can still buy him, but I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let's go for the name. Uh, let's go for the spin of the name. Let's do it. Who is next on our list of trying to survive? Commander Root. It was almost bloodness. Almost. So, Commander Root. Uh, wait, wait, wait. No, no, stop, stop, you stupid spinner. I was meant to take it off the list. Don't cheer again. It did Commander Root two times in a row. <laughs> That's rigged. No, and, and to show you that I'm not lying, it actually did Commander Root twice in a row. That is so rigged. <laughs> I accidentally clicked on the spinner the second time instead of removing him from the spinner. Um, so congratulations, Commander Root. Uh, for being our lone wolf. Completely rigged. And let's see what happens. We're a little bit away from civilization, but the civilization we're close to is a large city. So that's actually big. I like a flail start, three-headed without a shield. Oh, I am... I mean, you're speaking my language, Solemn. Three-headed flail for the win. I absolutely love that. I'd love to see that as a lone wolf start. Flails for the win. Find a location. Easy quest. Follow the tracks. Should be workable. Not really with a spear, though. I'd rather do the caravan. So, find a location for the free money. West. I'm assuming I can go this way and find it. Uh-oh. I don't see it. 2,000 crowns. Chat, I hate it when I can't find locations. You're kidding me, it was right there. I literally just went around it. Vision in this game is key. And it's also a pain. I'm going to do a caravan instead of the fall of the tracks. I know it's weird, but I'd rather do a caravan. Also, before we leave... Do I need an armor upgrade? Please tell me I need something. No, my armor is great. If you choose a shield, it gives you worse armor. If you choose a two-handed weapon, it gives you better armor. Interesting. I'll take an attachment for my helmet, though. Oh, I don't have enough money. Now I do. I'll sell all my food. Who cares? I'm going to get food from this quest. That is such a worthwhile purchase. From 75 to 150 armor. Such a worthwhile purchase. And can I buy some food back? Yeah, I can five buy some food back. Genius. Ten bucks left to our name. We'll have a drink. And we don't get anything from that. Great. Well, it was worth a try. Let's get some medicine and let's wander. Go on the hill to find it faster. I mean, I did, but the time I went to the hill, it was nighttime, so it's just bad timing. Uh, get two crowns per head. Wow, that's low. Two crowns per head? Holy crap, Raike, that is garbage. <laughs> what? A, it's not even worth it. I mean, I still want to take a fight, but it's... Oh my goodness. Someone ambush us, please. There's only two caravans next to each other. We're not that scary. We're protecting each other in this... Oh, wait, there's someone there. 
There were footprints. I don't care about Merton you. Thank you very much, game. Nice. Did they nerf this? Wait, what did they nerf? Oh, the quest. Oh, it's just a tier one. That's probably why it's got two gut bucks per head. It might have been slightly nerfed, but still it's just not really worth it. Two crowns per head on that one as well. Yeah, it does seem like it's been nerfed a little bit. Not that it needed to be, to be honest. Okay, I don't want the delivery. I don't want the fall of the tracks. I want the caravan. Two crowns per head up to 30 heads. Which is 60 bucks plus 110. Actually, no, I don't think it's nerfed. I think they upped the attackers, and therefore that reduced the crowns. In all honesty, they actually may have done something wrong. I don't think this early in the game there should be that many attackers, but no, 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 no. I think I know the thing, Solem. I think I figured it out. Lone Wolf is weird, and they probably didn't predict this was going to happen. You start with so much renown. You literally start with like 1,250 renown. Which screws over your low-leveled quests to have a high number of attackers. But the number goes low for crowns because you can't get more than 50% of whatever you're getting on the quest to be from your attackers, I think. From the heads. So that's why it looks scuffed. Because of our high renown expecting to have a higher work of what's happening in the early leveled quests at the early days. I think that's what it is. Um, anyways, Korax, welcome to the stream, man. Good to see you. Uh, I think we go this way. Someone attack us. We're going into barbarian territory. It is a bit weird, though, Solon. It is. I don't think it was intended. It's rabble and rabble poachers. Okay, chat, get your predictions going. I think this might be an easy one, but we are completely defenseless, as usual. We don't actually have shields against these poachers, but it is just rabble. And we have our caravan hands. I don't remember how many caravan hands we have, but they have a few war dogs. Welton Saitan, yeah, thanks, man. I'm sure the dogs will wreck us completely. But I think... With our caravan hands, they might be able to give us what we want. I bet all my snowballs, says Jeff. Very confident. Very confident on our success here. I mean, we stocked up on armor. Rabble are garbage against armor. So I think we actually can win this one fairly easily. Unless the dogs just completely destroy us. But we should have this. We should have it. In before farmhands run away after they're first dead. Yeah, yeah, it could. Our armor's more than double than last time. That is true. Our armor's insane. It's just we don't have a shield. That's the only thing that makes me sad. Two-handed weapons without shields really puts a target on your face. But they're just rabble. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Nothing to worry about. If it was Barbarian Thralls, then maybe I'd have to worry about something. Okay, so it's two dogs. We have four caravan hands. Oh, goodness. None of them with shields. But the... Oh, man, these guys have nothing. We need Pathfinder? Yeah, Pathfinder would be nice. Our helmet's a little bit damaged. We didn't get it fully repaired. But I think we've got this. We'll be fine. Famous last words, says Drake. <laughs> I know, I say it all the time. I jinx it all the time. Um, welcome to the stream, man. And Korax, thanks for the resub welcome with Prime. To the Himalayas! Snowcone? <laughs> no, 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 don't worry. It's lemon. Appreciate it. It's been five months. Yeah, I can't believe the time flies. Glad you've been enjoying and glad for the continued support, my man. And look at that. I'm engaged in melee, which is kind of annoying. Which means I normally have a 95% chance to hit this guy. Okay, Pike's not bad. Except for when I'm engaged in melee with dogs. 
Yeah, no, I think this is a washout, boys. They still have their range, which is not threatening. They don't have a single archer. That's so good. That's so good. Okay, bye, dog. Yep, this is a washout, boys. I'm glad you all predicted that we'd win this. What is it, like a 100% chance? Nobody thought we were going to lose this fight. I mean, with good reason. There's no way we're going to lose this fight. Yep, there we go. Another one dead. Another one bites the dust. All you need is a meat shield. Exactly. And these are the meat shields. But they're behind me, unfortunately. Oh, the dog hits. Of course he does. 16 on a 16. What did we expect? Oh, the spear wall. The triple 86. Oh, no, you can actually chase him down, buddy. Chase him down. Don't just sit there. Come on, Caravan Hands. There's three ranged. And there's just a dog. You can start chasing them down. Wait, we can bet on if you'll win or lose now, says Korax. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're doing uh, predictions. So we're not doing spins today, um, because this is more of a hardcore style stream. Um, but we're having a bit of betting, which is just betting with the snowballs. So you have a way of increasing your snowballs if you correctly bet. So, finally, Twitch has given us a way for people to earn snowballs. Because I've had no way in the past to ever give you guys snowballs, which is kind of a good thing. It's a self-earned accomplishment. But it's kind of cool that you guys can now earn snowballs by doing things like that. Commander Root. You didn't get the kill because the guy on top of you was better. Um, 93 coins. Not bad. Nice, easy fight, chat. Nicely done, and you all correctly guessed. For good reason, that was an easy fight. So, congratulations on getting all of your snowballs back. <laughs> Does this Legends mod change the RNG formula, says Welts and Sidon? No, it doesn't. It doesn't change any of the RNG stuff. It may seem like it makes it worse, because obviously I'm cursed, and I have bad RNG. But everything's normal. The reason why I was hitting 95s um, normally on those guys is because 75 plus 10 plus 10 is 95. But the reason why I wasn't hitting 95s, this is the minus 15%, because I was engaged in melee because of the dog. So, normally I'd hit 95s if they have zero defense on enemies. But, and if they don't have a shield, but unfortunately the dog was next to me. Is zero people better no? Does it mean we get no snowballs? Uh, you think you just get your snowballs back. Yeah, you just get your snowballs back. Alright, keep the camping going, keep getting more meds. And we get instantly ambushed again, of course. Chat, I'm seeing... I'm seeing a continuation of what happens when we take... Um, <laughs> when we take these darn caravans. This time, they have actual poachers. I know, a little bit more spoopy, spooky. Spooky. <laughs> But I'm pretty sure we'll win this one again. Pike and main hand and spear in the bag would be nice to have, says Blood Mess. Yeah, if we switch out the pike for a different weapon, um, that would be nice. But we'd have to have normal quick hands to be able to do that. Your scout reporting something you already see, says Welton. <laughs> exactly. Your scout reports it. Yeah, no, we saw it in advance. We expected this to happen. Totally expected it. And with our 95 accuracy against anybody without a shield, I'm looking forward to it. It's just if they if they get into melee with us, we don't like it. Hmm, I'm trying to think. How would we avoid getting in melee? Would we need to get footwork? No. Footwork is so expensive. I think we just need to keep taking caravans. We need to keep invading other people's fights. 
We need to get a squire eventually. I don't know. I'm not I'm not completely sold on the pike build. I mean early game, it sounds like fun. But fighting harder enemies with a pike. I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see. And who's the scout? The Lone Wolf's alternative personality? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's a one-man party. Your scout reports this. Wait a minute. Isn't isn't it me? <laughs> the leader, the scout, the cook, and the medic of our band. And the, the, the blacksmith who keeps fixing all the armor. He does everything. Apparently so. He is a Godin Dag, or whatever it was named, says Blood Mess. A Godin Dag could work. Oh, we get bonus high ground? Sweet. Transition to a Sword Staff. Sword Staff's pretty good. Hammer attack for armor and thrust attack for meat hits. Oh, the Godin Dag has a mace attack for stunning and a spear attack. So, Blood Mess, you were almost close on that. 85 on the dog, 10 impale, 10 height advantages, 10 pointy end. But the dog has, I think, 20 defense. Which means we rolled an 88. Right. Right. Two spears should be easy to deal with. They got no armor. I see someone predicted this time um, a couple of points against the success. 200 snowballs. Just in case I lose. I like to see that. You gotta risk a couple snowballs to see if you win the entire prize pool. You gotta have some sort of risk in there. Because you never know, something bad may happen to us. But a 90%, oh. It's nice to have that. Should be able to get this guy coming closer. No? You're not interested, buddy? Any second now. 1 to 76.94 bet if you lose this fight. Raike already calculating the bets. Nice. We're gonna have our, like, uh, what do they call them? Bookies? <laughs> come on, come on, the bet's at 1 to 76. It can go a little higher. Anyone want to go for 176? Anyone going for 1 for 80? 1 for 80. Come on, let's go. <laughs> That's what it says? Oh, it actually says that? Raike didn't calculate it? Oh, okay. I didn't actually know it actually told you the percents. <laughs> That's cool. I, I still believe that you're good at math, man. I believed it. Just just tell everybody you were the one that calculated. They'll believe you. Raike is the snow's mentat. <laughs> hey, it works. It works. No one will say otherwise. Uh, we're down to three range. They are destroying these donkeys, and the caravan hands don't care. See, that's the thing I don't understand about caravan hand AI. I know the caravan hand AI got buffed. Now they're trying to rush. Okay. Because before, caravan hands used to just do this all the time and not give a crap. It took them a turn to realize that they could just start rushing the archers, and I missed an 88. Wow. But it still took them an extra turn to realize this. But it's good that they don't just sit back forever now. Like I was expecting them to do. Uh, he's probably dead. No, he's not. He misses a 77. Caravan Hand gets hit on a 7%. But we get a very much needed kill there for some XP and some drops. Dagger Boy is going hard. And the mace guy gets the kill. It's over. Yeah, we're not catching this last guy. It's over. Well done. Well done. Four kills. That's more than I was expecting. 76 bucks. Helmet. Not an upgrade, but it's nice to have that. My inventory's full. Yeah, that kind of makes sense. But I still got the two bucklers because I had things in my inventory that were turned into... Um, Tools. Wait, I can salvage that, that, that. Take a dagger with me. Salvage the other dagger. Salvage the helmets. That should be fine. Maybe fencing sword? It works with placing piercing perks if you have those perks for this build. Uh, fencing sword only works if you have a fast bro. And the fencing perk down here, and I don't, unfortunately. 
So for this build, I could go spear. Oh, I don't get overwhelm. Fudge. Now, if this character survives, I think I wasted the spear perk. I'm, I'm kind of expecting to eventually die with this character. <laughs> but, I mean, in all honesty, a spear build still isn't a bad idea, even without the overwhelm. I just really wish he did have the overwhelm. Yeah, no, I'd probably have to go spear build in the long run to capitalize on the perks that I've already spent. Should have gone for dagger, says Sauron, but there's no dagger. It's spear, axe, or hammer. Maybe on the next character we might get lucky with dagger. You never know. You never know. Anyways, congratulations on the prediction, chat. You guys are doing quite well. Quite well indeed. Let's get ourselves some salvage. And let's see how quickly we get it um, ambushed again. How quickly is it going to happen? Another caravan. We're almost there. Peasants run by. Ah, we didn't get ambushed again. That's okay. Would be nice if a little more started with more perks from the start instead of better wields. Yeah, like kind of how the um the Crusader start did. Yeah, I agree. It would be nice to see it. I think better grip makes spears viable. Oh, better grip's great. Absolutely great. Oh, there's Alps. Oh, we're perfectly built to fight Alps. Chat. Unless we fall asleep. Hmm, maybe we're not perfectly built to fight Alps. We have the right weapon. But if we fall asleep, we're screwed. Do we try it? Stefan really wants it. What's our other option? It's another caravan. I mean, I'd rather do the caravan. You know, always transition to throwing weapons or expos, says Blood Mess. If you... If you do what? Oh, this is ad starting any second, just to warn you guys. But the pointy end only works for melee attacks. That's the thing with the piercing. Yeah, that only works for piercing um, melee attacks, not for throwing weapons. I like your idea, Blood Mess. I like your idea. But spears and throws don't always work well, because it's piercing melees, and it specifically says that. Spears. Spears. Double grip is spears. King of all weapons. It's all spears. PTR did a very good job of making sure that throwing weapons didn't have random things that helped them that much. Because throwing weapons are already strong. I, didn't, I remember throwing weapons got even nerfed a little bit in the most recent patch. <sighs> Chat, do we try it? I think, I think we do try the, the Alps. It's insanely risky. But I think we have to try it. If we're not playing ballsy, then what are we doing? If we can stay awake... We win this. If they can sleep us, then hurt us to wake us up so we still have a turn, we can win this. If there's any dire wolves, we're kind of screwed. Also, I need to do a prediction. Oh, it's only two! Okay, chat. This is going to be the big prediction. This is going to be very important. Can we beat two Alps? This is a big gamble right here. A very big gamble. We have a high ground next to us. We have two outs. We have 78 health. If we kill one of them, the other one might flee. There's a chance for that to happen. I don't know how big of a chance, 
but there's a slight chance that it'll happen. We do good damage. We've got great accuracy. The armor, I only kept it on the character. I could have gone completely nude, but I went with armor just in case there was a random direwolf. But there is no direwolf. So I can sit on the high ground. The high ground does not give me bonuses to my resolve to defend against the sleeps, but it will give me bonuses to hit, so I'm going to be hitting on 95s most likely during this fight. Most likely. The only thing that could have made this fight easier if I had a net. Because then I could net one of them whilst I fought the other one 1v1. That would have been better. But I didn't know and I didn't have a chance to get a net. This is going to be a tough one. I think there's a chance we can win this. But I also think there's a chance we can lose this. I see that chat's slightly divided. But some of them, most of you guys, are thinking that I can win this. 4k versus 2k. It's 2 to 1 odds. Raike the bookie will keep t on top of that. And, uh, yeah. Whoever wins this is going to get a little bit of snowballs with this prediction. If I lose this fight, you guys are getting a little bit more snowballs. So I'm hoping I win this. But I think my first play is to go into this high ground. Don't be able to sleep me. Son of a... Okay, okay. Oh, I got put to sleep again. Oh, no, that's bad. Okay, I have my turn. Finally. I'm at half health and I get my turn. The resistance against piercing attacks. Oh no. Okay, it's over. <laughs> the resistant against piercing. I resist. No, it's over. I didn't resist at the right times. GG chat. It was a chance. I actually thought we had a chance. Wow. We got bodied so hard. Oh, we did try at least. But congratulations to those doubters out there. The doubters were correct. We did not win this fight. So big payout of the prediction for the gamblers. But I do appreciate all of you guys supporting me and thinking that I was going to win that one. <laughs> I did not remember Alps had resistance to piercing. That is so annoying. I got one hit in. That is true, Drake. That is true. And that's what counts. But definite Fs in the chat. If I got a rune drop, that would be amazing, Blood Mess. But just got bodied a bit too much there. A little bit too much. But congratulations on all the snowball winners there. Congratulations. So, expo now? I mean... It said it was an expo and a slashing weapon, so sure, we'll try it out. Uh, let's do this. Lagging a little bit because of all the other stuff going on, apparently. Alright, please let me clean up all these stupid entries. Good, good. Yeah, we have a winner. It was an empty, empty name. Sweet. Okay. Is the game completely bugged out? Or is it just taking its time? I'll be patient. Maybe, maybe it's just slow. It was just slow. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Uh, we try the crossbow and a cutting weapon this time. To see what cutting weapon it is. It's an arming sword. Ooh, actually that's not bad. Dual grip on an arming sword could hurt. Bow and dagger would be a death sentence, blood mess. But I mean, maybe eventually. Do we actually get a better range skill in this character? We actually do. 53 is better than 40.
Interesting. It's axe, spear, and mace this time. Um, I don't like... <laughs> don't like the options we have. These are all bad. I think I go recover. Into survival. Into pattern. I... Is it pattern? Or do I go gifted? Yeah, I have to go pattern. Pattern is the only way to live. I can't just not do pattern. And I have to build this as a hybrid. Do I do crossbow? Do I do hybrid? Because I can't go hybrid because I don't have the ability in late game to go hybrid. Do I just use crossbow early on for the fun of it? And what build do I go? I go axe, right? And that means recovers a waste. Dig the helmet? Oh yeah, the helmet's really cool. This is actually the best helmet in the game. As far as I've seen in my travels, I don't- I can't guarantee this is 100%, but I can guarantee it is a 99%. This is the best helmet base armor in the game. 7 for 95. The Bever. Which makes you look really cool- oh, fudge. This stupid glitch. There we are. The Bever is like that, makes you look like Bane or Batman or whatever. Um, and then the top one, the Barboo, is really cool. And then adds to it and makes you look like... Looks like you look like a Hydra? No, no, no. It's like Shredder? Yeah, it makes you look like Shredder. That's the one. A full squad might have had a hard time against three of those things. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. I like to keep rolling on the bro for just B-Edit until you get three compatible weapon perks. Axe, Cleaver, Sword, or Mace, Hammer, Flail. Yeah. Axe for the win. Yeah, axes are pretty good. I think I just go melee because it's the better way to go. And then I play with the crossbow early on just for some extra accuracy. My goodness, I'm getting a lot of good rolls for recover and not a good lot of rolls for my hit points. That's fine, I'll live with it. Anyways, our new bro... will be named... Brendley! Congratulations. Congratulations indeed. Let's hope you don't die. <laughs> Brendley the Lone Wolf. With a very experimental build. Uh, the world gives us a nice big harbor city. That's what we like to see. Also, it's been quite rainy at the moment, so you might hear some nice ambient music in the background throughout the entire stream. Mr. Blood Mess again. I know Blood Mess is just barely there. Barely having a chance. Follow the tracks. That's a bit risky. Caravan is a great option. Delivery is horrible. Let's take a caravan, boys. It's just, it's how we have to do it. We need friends in high places. 5% to miss. It rains music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Music. That's all I got. I secretly have speakers in my room with, like, the, the rain music. Like, rain ambient sounds to make it seem like it's raining. That's what it is. Totally. Uh, five arena fights? Hell no. Allies sounds like the right way to go. Because then I think allies leads into uh, noble quests. Because you can't get noble quests immediately. You have to get it through certain um, chain ambitions. Got the pattern recognition. It is. It just can't hit me, says Blood Mess. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. Okay, we didn't get anything attacking us. Well, that sucks. Hunt down mummies. Ha 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 No. Hunt down Ifrits. No. No, I don't think I will. I'm I'm not doing either of hell no. I'm I wanted to try Alps for the fun of it, but I'm not trying those. That's just insanity. 
Okay, back we go, I think. Or small village. Maybe I go to Ras Sanan and hopefully get a nice um, conscript caravan. If you go to the south, they're the best caravans in the game, and I want to get one. Oh my goodness, my vision is so small. I'm going to panic in case something gets close to me. Please no, please no, please no. Oh, I can finally see things. Whew. Is he dead yet, says Van Whitman? I mean, this is like our fourth run or fifth run or something. Yeah, we... Not yet, it's only day three. But eventually we'll be dead. Nomads out of location, not keen. Undead... Mummies again. What is wrong with you guys in mummies? Sort out your own mummy problems. Sheesh. Now that you've used all weapons, you can roll the name and let the guy pick the weapon. And if they're not here, you just pick one. Yeah, we could possibly do that, Naga. We could possibly do that. Holy crap. It's right with the beggar's legend start. Then again, beggar's is no gear start. Yeah, that is true. It's pretty close. And this is what I wanted to see. Okay, come here, boys. Come on. I'm going to drag you into this fight no matter what. I have the ability to cheese the game. As soon as I say that, I get trolled. As soon as I say that I'm trying to cheese the game. You're freaking kidding me! I'm out. I'm out! Son of a biscuit! Why did the stupid army just give up? I think nighttime ruined their vision, even though the AI has no problem with vision. They just ditched. Okay, I escaped. Oh my goodness. Thanks, Stefan, for the clip. I have the ability to cheese the game. Instantly just gets ambushed. Oh, flippin' heck. No, I don't think it was the vision. I think there's a certain radius that the parties will like to be around. And I think that's what it was. They went out of their radius. That's not a vision problem. That's them straying too far from home. They're way too far from home, and I couldn't let them chase. Oh, that's so annoying. Okay, I'll actually wait. Maybe I lead them in this way. You guys do deserve to die for being that much of a jerk. Yeah, I'm playing with fire. I know it. Come on, spawn out of your homes. I know you guys are wandering around. Yes! I'll do it again. I'll do it. I'll do it. This time, I will succeed in the cheese. Yes! I will succeed in the cheese this time. How about that, nomad slingers? Let's freaking go. Now, with crossbow in hand... And two mortars. And four conscript, five conscripts with sword lances. And a gunner. Yeah, yeah, this is the cheese, chat. This is what I wanted to talk about. The actual cheese. I mean, it would be horrible if I got cheesed again. But this time, I am the cheese. And I don't need you guys to waste a prediction on this fight. There's no way it happens. They're still throwing rocks at us. That is, um, your funeral. Thanks for the 23. Stupid slingers. They are desperate. This right, we're not getting XP. That is true, but at least we're killing these guys. They deserve it. They deserve it for being mean. And the stinky cheese says Van Whitman. Okay, Brenly, let's get a bit closer. Let's get a beautiful 30... Why is it 39? And why is that one 37? Oh, strength in numbers. I'll take that hit. Incoming explosions. Wouldn't want to be them. 
conscripts staying back for some weird reason. Defending the engineer. That's weird. Oh, I remember those from Mountain Blade. The pesky potato throwers. <laughs> yes, the slingers. It's constantly throwing rocks at people. They never change. They never change. Okay, could you end your turn, slingers, please? Thank you. Man, it takes them five years to figure out what they want to do. Conscript will steal the kill, that's okay. But these indebted have no chance. Uh, we may be able to steal a kill here and there, especially since these guys took their time getting in. Crossbow has decent accuracy. Throwing weapons are slightly better. Oh, of course, you stood in front of me, you jerk. I wanted to go there. Never mind, he took the kill anyways. Go for the steal. I know, it would have been nice. Don't think I'm going to get a steal unless I get really lucky. I think I need to go to my sword. Because the crossbow is not going to do it for me. Yep, that's fine. I think I might be able to steal one of these indebted or maybe that slinger. Up here, these guys are totally dead. Especially with the double mortar hit. Ho 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 ho! Could barely see it off screen, but that, that was a good hit. That was expected. That guy's probably gonna die to the conscript. But yeah, slingers are a little bit more hardy, which is why they're probably easier to kill steal. Yeah, that was expected. The gunner shoots his own guy. Fair enough. I have to be careful standing there. I'm going to get shot. Okay. Yep, they're starting to flee. I can go in. I won't be able to get the kill, though. So I'm just going to recover. And wait for them to soften him up for me. Oh, good, the mortar's not on me. I was gonna panic if the mortar was aiming for me, but it's not. It's going for this guy. Whew! Yeah, that's an easy kill. Yep, that's good. Follow up. That's actually really good. Oh no, but he steals the kill. No, we don't get a kill. <laughs> That's alright, we just enjoyed being a part of this. Even though there's somehow... We got a drop? Okay, I'll take the drop. And some loot. But apparently no kill. Unfortunate. But we survive, and that's what matters. We're clearing the streets, making it more interesting. But this is how we do the, um... Scaling Beggar run. You just gotta abuse everything the game has. As a lone wolf, I'd still recommend playing like this a little bit. Abusing friends. Dragging parties into other parties. Oh, for sure. Definitely would tell you to do that. We get one dagger as our loot. Yay! <laughs> we contributed almost nothing to that fight. And we got rewarded for doing nothing. Understandable. Now please give me a caravan. It's mummies again. Really? And it's... no. Okay, that is a load of garbage.
These nomads, these southerners are not giving us good quests. That was there before the fight, says Lockheed. <laughs> Just a random dagger on the ground. Streamer advocates abusing his friends. Twitter enraged. Twitter's always enraged, man. That's nothing new. But me advocating to kill my friends? I mean, that's also nothing new. No, nothing nothing new in those statements. But I do agree. I full-heartedly agree with all that. Follow the tracks. Fine, I'll try it. Chat, do we think... Do we think I can win a Follow the Tracks? As a sword and crossbow. I mean, no shield, double grip, shooting off crossbow bolts, rabble, rabble poachers and poacher. Oh, I'm gonna get shot to hell. I think I can win it. How's my armor situation? 170 helmet's amazing. The body armor is pretty good too. 115 is not bad. I don't have quick hands, so switching to the sword is annoyingly four action points. But I think it'll be alright. I do need to heal up quickly, though. That's one thing that's important. Oh, I have no tools. Oh, so I can't repair the little bit of armor damage I have. Unless I salvage the knife. Understandable. So let's do that instead. Don't really need that knife. That works. Okay, so chat's thinking I can win this one, but also there's a few votes for me not winning this one. Interesting. Interesting. I will fight them during the day. And we'll have to see what happens. Oh, they want to beat me down with because I have a ranged weapon. Of course, of course. They're going to keep rolling ranged attacks on me, which is annoying. 28, yep. 65-63. I'm gonna have to go to my melee weapon, though. Actually, I stay where I am, right? That's smart. Make them walk towards me so they can only attack once. Nice, nice, double dodge. I think we got a good chance, chat. I just don't want to get peppered by these guys. Oh, you guys can kill your own friends too. I do do remember that. I am not saying no to you guys accidentally killing your friends as I get a double kill. Ooh, double gripped sword. Now I gotta chase these guys down somehow. Oh, I can run into the grass. Using the Leet Strats chat. Leet Strats. Even though they're all still rolling at 5%. Because they don't have a guy with a bow, do they? No, they don't have a bow. That's why I'm not having to be worried. Nice. Oh, look at this chat. I can jump in behind them. <laughs> Yes. So no Frankenstein monster mod yet with the new DLC mechanics? No, not yet. There may be some new ones. The new DLC mechanic is pretty cool. Um, there are cool potion things. But maybe eventually we'll see something like that, man. Maybe eventually. 89, 92. I'll go for the 89, because he needs to die first. High ground advantage, you can't have that on me. Not allowed. 
And this sword is nice. Picking the crossbow option just for the sword seems like it's the right choice. Look at that, I can actually one-shot enemies for once. Master Axel, welcome to the stream. Lone Wolf. Yes, this is the Lone Wolf origin. It does say it in the title. Um, but yes, we are enjoying the brand new updated version. Did we die? Oh, multiple times, my man. Multiple times. Um, sometimes kind of on purpose, and sometimes kind of on accident. Nice. Don't you try and run away, buddy. I've got your number. Nice. Woo! A Legends mod update for the fifth uh, DLC? Yes, yes. So this is all updated. All the mods are sorted. They're ready for the new DLC. And it's wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. We've got a few extra wonder things. And plenty of more updates uh, for different mods for the future. So many more new mods will happen. It's great. Hope I don't say that outside. Yeah, exactly. Nobody outside can hear me. It's fine. It's fine. You know what PTR is? Oh, okay. So Legends is the normal one that you guys are used to. PTR is all the perks. It's called Perk Tree Reworked. That's what PTR stands for. And it means just an extra hundred plus perks added to the game. Weapon trees, uh, bonus perks that do other things that are really cool. Things like menacing... Things like Tactician. There's all sorts of cool perks. Line Breaker. Uh, Vigilant, I think, is part of PTR as well. Personal Armor. Wears it well. There's some really cool stuff. How am I supposed to build bros now? I know, that's the thing. But you can do so much customization. So much customization. Do I have the Stronghold? No, I don't play with Stronghold until I get to really late game. I don't play the Stronghold mod unless I have like a really long save. Because it's just a waste of my mod slots. Because I don't have the money for it. <laughs> but I do love the Stronghold mod. And I don't think it's updated for the new version of Legends, though. So do be careful about that. Um, there's an ad starting any second now, just to warn you guys. Mod for... Uh, money for mod slots? No, 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 no. Not... <laughs> not money for mod slots. I meant in-game... I didn't have the money in in the game. So will Snow win the next fight? We did. And that sword did us really well. So congratulations to those who got the prediction correct. And congratulations on your snowballs. I was a little worried, because using a ranged weapon is not really our forte as a lone wolf. But we, we pulled through. Let's move on to our next city. Is that a... That's a citadel. Of course it is. This map is horrible. Is that a citadel? No. Yeah, I don't like this map. Why is the speed up choppy a little bit? Um, no, it's not the PC. It's because of the pole. So whenever I do polls on OBS, it just takes away everything that my computer can do. So, it, uh, my frames drop down to like 7, 10. Don't worry about it too much. It's because OBS is like, I'm going to steal all of your CPU. It's like how Google Chrome steals all your RAM. That's a lot of supply caravans. Very tempting, but there's no way I'd win any of those if I wanted to go evil. Please tell me the roads are safe, though. Okay, we got here safely. What's the options? Pay for their safety... Brigand's location? That's not bad. That's not bad. Caravan to these... Oh, I like that better. Can I do both? Can I sneak out a brigand location before the caravan disappears on me? I will try to cheat. Not cheese. I'll try and... Oh, it's in the mountains. I want to get both of these quests done.
All right, let's get close to it and see if you guys want that prediction. No, I don't care about the retinue. Why do you keep telling me about retinue slots? This is going to be an easy fight, though. But we'll do the prediction regardless. See if you guys want to win some snowballs. I'm thinking it's not going to be a hard fight. A few poachers, some rabble. If the rabble tie me up and get and I get shot too much, it could be annoying. But no, I'm I'm still thinking this is a good win. It is on the hill, depends on the high ground. Yeah, I'm not sure. But most likely it's a win for us. We have to do it during the day though. We need to quickly finish this as quickly as possible. Uh because we want to get to that caravan as soon as possible. F says Van Whitman. For the fight? I mean, not many people are predicting. But if nobody predicts against you, you're not going to win any snowballs. But at least you get the prediction correctly. Oh, it's 150 versus 150. There you go. That's a 1 to 1 ratio. You could win a few snowballs if you win. Nice. But I do like the doubt. The little bit of seeds of doubt. You gotta have someone voting against the win. You gotta have someone. Oh, and it's uphill? Okay. Okay. I am now a little bit more worried. Maybe some other people can try and vote for my loss now. We take a 67 to the... Oh, dear. Chat? This could be a problem. They will always come down. Yeah, but the archers won't. That's the thing. I don't care about the melee ones. I don't give a crap. These guys can't touch me. These guys can. I need to get up there as soon as possible. Just run... No, no, running downhill is even worse. If I run back this way, they're still going to be able to shoot me from this area. I know they'll have to chase me, but... I don't have to run all the way there and then all the way back. I need to be up here. Okay, I dodge a 46. That's easy. That won't do damage. And then the archer shoots his own guy. Yes! That's good. But we took a really bad hit to start this fight. Um, I switch and I attack. I give up on the... 82, please. Please. Or do I go repost? Hmm, I could either get a really good 82. Yeah, the 82 is the right call. Hit him in the face. One shot's the guy that could possibly hurt my armor. I'll take that. Repost for the win, and I could have killed this guy. But I wouldn't have reposted a 17. Yeah, no, weirdly enough, the repost was a bad call, and if I killed this guy, he wouldn't get shot by his own friend. I like that the fact that they're shooting their own friend. This is actually working. But then again, I'm also getting sniped. If I lose to these rabble... This is going to be embarrassing. But it's also because of flipping poachers with arrows. Uh, do I patiently wait? If I win, someone will earn snowballs. If I lose, someone will... Oh, I see, Naga. I see who voted for number two. <laughs> I have the ability to see who has voted for number one and number two. <laughs> Please don't shoot me, please don't shoot me. Damn it. Damn it! Stop hitting 30% for goodness sakes. You trust me? Thanks, Naga. I, I appreciate the trust. I can see it in nice pink color there. How much trust you have. <laughs> I still have two guys shooting me. And I'm getting completely wrecked. So there's that part to it. Streamer caught losing to Ravel. I mean, yeah. 
That would not be a fun thing to be caught losing to. Okay, I've got only one poacher left shooting me. And he goes to the perfect flank. And I dodge a 35. Whew! What do you mean, bro? All the trust for you. Of course, of course. Okay, Brenly. Nicely done. The rabble has not decided to leave because he can't. Oh my goodness. I don't care about him. I don't give a crap. I'm dying. I'm dying. One bad shot and I'm dead. Thanks for waiting, buddy. I don't know why you waited, why I missed a 92. If I get stabbed, he outspeeds. I'm not dying to rabble. I am not dying to rabble. And he still hits me on a 15%. You absolute jerk. Oh. That was scary, chat. That was close. This is why you don't fight anyone uphill. Even freaking rabble. It's not worth it. Have me worried there for a moment. Yeah. Yeah, that's a lot of archer damage. Lone wolves don't like archers. And if that doesn't prove it to you, I don't know what will. That is rough. Whew. I'm, I'm glad we're out of that fight. But congratulations to those... Wait a minute. 85% of you thought I was going to lose that fight? 85% of the snowballs voted. Wow, a lot of you guys really had the faith in me. <laughs> I mean, for good reason. Uphill with freaking archers? The, the, I mean, good reason. But still, five ranged enemies kiting me? Yeah, if it's goblins and ranged, oh my goodness. But congratulations to those who, um, who voted. Nice 100 snowball bet, 660 return. Nice, Raike. Congratulations, free snowballs. Should have bet more. <laughs> Should have had more faith in the guy who's got, like, now, what, an injured leg? Oh, and, like, no health and no armor. Oh, boy. I've got a lot of work to do. But we have a caravan to look after us in the next fight. Hopefully. Hopefully that caravan is ready for us. Let's wander home. Let's get paid. Let's see. Only me on the no team there, says Naga. <laughs> yeah. Trying to get all those snowballs. Let's see. Success has been had. Bet 2k won 6.1. Congratulations, Singularis. Well done for the win. I will take this caravan, and I need... Desperately need to heal myself up. Do I spend the 180? Yes, because I want to show chat the new thing that temples have. Chat, welcome to temples. Welcome to temples being better than camping. Because temples give you this. So this is the incentive the Legends crew has thought of, and I think it is absolutely gorgeous and wonderful. Being able to camp in the middle of nowhere, fixing your own injuries for zero dollars and only a couple hours, it is just super ways of ignoring temples. So I, I never use temples anymore, but now Legends crew has buffed temples and I am 100% for it. It can last a few days and you get a complete bonus to your character for spending money. It's totally worth it. It's not a gigantic improvement, but it is well worth the money you spend on fixing an injury instead of just spending it whilst camping. So if you have the money, go to temples now. I know, how weird is that? I'm actually promoting for people to go to temples. It's awesome. We still have the injury that needs to be treated for one to two days, so it doesn't, like, solve your problems. But it gives you a nice little buff to keep you fighting whilst injured. So yeah, go to temples, have some fun. I still need to repair my own um, health problems, my own body problems. I gotta do everything. Let's do this. 
hit points are going up real slow. Come on. Come on. Don't ambush us. Not whilst I'm busy. Uh, I've done healing a little bit. Then I can go to salvage a bit. No, 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 no. I said I wanted to salvage. Thank you. Does it give you extra temporary stats or does it mitigate the injuries? Ah, oh, so basically what it does is it will treat your injuries for you at a temple, as usual, but it gives you a small buff to sort of, like, incentivize you to go to temples. It doesn't counteract the injury completely. No. But a negative fatigue injury shouldn't give you a plus HP buff. Well, if you look at it that way, but you got to look at it this way. It's like, it's like drinking a potion. It doesn't matter what injury you have. If you drink a potion that gives you fatigue, it'll give you fatigue. If you drink a potion that gives you stamina, or I mean, um, uh, melee damage, or if you give a drink a potion that gives you um, experience gain, doesn't matter what injury you have, the potion will give it to you. So you got to think of it like you've gone to the doctors, they've given you a really well-dressed wound, instead of you just stitching it up in your own time. The fact that the doctors did a really good job of you, gave you maybe some drugs, you never know, maybe gave you some pills, and therefore you're well tended to, and therefore you're feeling a bit more than yourself for the next couple of days. It's the basic reason why they did this is to incentivize people to use temples and not always camp for their injuries. That's basically it. I didn't know, Step, those little mints on the bed pillow are a nice little buff. <laughs> Yeah, the mints on your pillows. It's perfect. The little, little, um, what are the animals they make with your pillows? That They do that on cruise ships, but I mean, they should do it in hospitals too. Oh my god, we're gonna die. I've been trying to heal up. Why is it orcs? Oh my goodness. Caravan hands, you have a job. And chat also has a job. What are you thinking, chat? Oh, GG. I mean, here's the thing. If we win this, we will be heroes. We have negative melee defense. But not by too much, because we get the positive there. 15. Oh. Our accuracy is okay. I like that our accuracy is pretty decent. Our ranged accuracy is pretty decent. We get a bit of bonus health, a bit of resolve. Maybe you want to dip out the zone line. Yeah, see, I'm gonna I'm gonna definitely jump back. But I might I might have to dip out this fight. But I'm not going to. I'm going to see if we can win this. But I can see a lot of people are thinking we won't. And I can agree with that. I can totally agree with the people saying we won't win this one. I don't like the shield guys with the small swords. Cleaver guy is going to do a lot of damage. These guys have so much health, so much armor. And I don't have a shield. Yeah, it's going to be rough. Nine fifty versus 2.4k. Yep, I can feel it. I can feel the doubt settling in, boys. If we take, like, two bad hits that pierce our armor, we might be goners. Caravan hands? Okay, we're having a pep talk. We've got this. We need my RNG to work, Stefan. I do agree. We need some sort of RNG. We need them to ignore us and go for the horses, the donkeys. We need our caravan hands to go sicko mode. Come on, boys. Big pep talk. You've got this. 45 armor, 120 armor, and 115 armor. You guys have good dodge. You've got survival instinct, strength in numbers. We've got work to do. And I can actually assist a little bit. I can totally assist, and then I can run. <laughs> I'm hiding with the donkeys. I 
Uh, I don't think they have throwing weapons with them, do they? Sometimes Orc Young do have throwing weapons. A double 66 is a good start. Actually a good start. I'm worried about these guys charging. Oh no, they're going to charge and stun. At least these guys are waiting on their turn like smart. Oh dear. Oh no. There's the throwing weapon that one-shots him. Great. Well, that didn't work. That was a bad miss. Okay, chat. Um, yep, they're definitely gonna charge. Easy points, boys, for you guys. There's no way we win this. Run away before I melt. Run away before the Hairvan Hand fails me! No! Oh, good, good hit. Good dodge, good dodge. Oh, not a stun. Oh, well. Yeah, actually, I think I have to ditch this fight. I don't want to actually die. <laughs> Okay, chat, you guys win. These are Legends Orcs. Ah, oh, you guys are right with the outcome. And in all honesty, I kind of was expecting it. So much for having a caravan help us to win fights. They can't beat Orcs. They can't be orcs. Especially with those stuns. But congratulations to those who predicted well. Being a lone wolf means being a coward. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That is true. We have to be a coward if we want to survive in this world. There's no point in throwing your life away for just some caravan. But sad times, we lose it. But we do get to escape, which is nice. Just don't know why this orcs this early in the game. Not keen on saying hi to you guys. There, Yes, there is. You must be a hero. Okay, do you want me to save these peasants? There's no way that's happening. Bye, peasants! <laughs> don't go down that road. Oh, I can take a caravan to the north. Sweet! I can't, the orcs won't follow me there once they're killing off the peasants. Nine peasants versus six orcs. They've got it. They totally have that. And I'm just walking on a caravan north. Don't follow me. I am not here. Ooh, doo -doo -doo -doo, silently whistling away. Strength in numbers, says Master Axel. Yeah, that only gets you so far. Doesn't work so well against the orcs. I mean, the caravan's hands had strength in numbers. It didn't really do anything for him. Also, why do I keep getting such small... Oh, no, I don't care about my fortune. That's fine, old lady. Why do I only have two caravan hands and a donkey with me? Tell that to goblins, says Master Axel. Yeah, see, that's different. Goblins are freaking amazing, especially since they got buffed. Care of peasants? No, no. Peasants got nerfed. And therefore are... Not worth it. They do not do anything good. Not these days. Okay, let's just heal up a little bit. And we'll be at fighting strength to get off some rabblers. So chat, we only have two caravan hands. Two caravan hands. But it is rabble. And they're usually pretty easy. So I'm thinking we got a good chance. This seems fine, says White. <laughs> I mean, it's a lot better. There's no dogs. That is true. I'm not going to be cursed by the dogs. Um, and there's no orcs. Like, think about this. 
ambushing a caravan, it could either be a bunch of brigands or six freaking 125 health, really strong weapon orc young that stun you every time they want to jump into battle. So, yeah, I'd rather take this over the orcs like a million times over. So I'm kind of happy with these guys. I even take freaking thralls over orcs. Barbarian thralls are annoying, but at least they're not orcs. And funnily enough, I'd still take thralls over goblins. Slightly. Because of how scary goblins are these days. Yeah, you can't, like, six goblins sounds not bad. But six goblins can screw you over so easily. You can't forget that goblins are jerks. And if you guys came to, like, the previous streams when we did the goblin run, yeah, goblins are jerks. <laughs> Really effective at what they do. Looks like you guys are in support of us winning this one. Can't imagine Noble War with the Lone Wolf, though. Oh, man. We'll try. Noble War would be fun. We have two friends. Dagger and Cleaver. Sounds like fun. And the Rabble are looking pretty easy. Team Skeletons? Oh. Not a fan of skellies either. Can I get this 68? Oh, I can and I will get confident off of that chat. That's so nice. The crossbow's working. It didn't just work as effectively against the orcs though, sadly. 19, okay. Trying to go for that donkey. Caravan hand, do you want to stop him or do you just want to sit there? Do I shoot him? Oh, I got shot. 69? I'm trusting in the 69. But it didn't kill him. Well, that sucks. You don't... What? what? The caravan hand's just sitting there? Literally a space away from a guy he could kill. Caravan hand, come on, man. Stop being like this. But if you're letting me take the kill, I'll take it. So how do I do this? Do I go super close to him? Point blank range? And get completely robbed. Hmm. That didn't work. I trusted in the 69, I didn't trust in the 68. Well, it's actually realistic, says White. <laughs> Apparently so. Apparently so. Oh, you're sniping your own guy. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. I need to switch to sword and take care of this guy for a free kill. Oh, come on. 16%. Calm down, buddies. Calm down. 95 I would worry if I did not get that kill. Caravans will just stay posted because they're a bunch of idiots. There's no rain, no melee characters left, buddies. Seriously. There's only one major threat, and then he also gets sniped on a... What? It doesn't even say a percent. That's a, um... Well, I've got to put that one in, I think. Unless... No, because he came from the Invisibles? I don't know. Hold your grounds or being stoned. <laughs> Apparently so. They just don't mind it. They really don't care. Could you please rush out to attack them? Yay! They're not being useless anymore. Chat, finally. <laughs> the day of reckoning is at hand. They're not being utterly useless. Although he might die. 
That is a possibility. Oh, good job, Caravan Hand. Good job. Oh, we almost got wrecked. On an 8%. 9%. And I'm missing 95s. I literally missed a 95. And the Rabble Poacher hits an 8. Oh, damn. That's my second 95. Okay. Okay. It's only Rabble Poacher. Good hit. Good hit, Caravan Hands. Good job. I don't know where the archer is. I'll run him down. I just don't know where he is. Oh, I don't think I'm going to catch him. Yeah, he's off. Well, we level up, chat. That is rare. And we get 89 bucks from that. So... And we also didn't lose a caravan hand. The, the, I was not expecting that. But congratulations on the predictions. We didn't get completely wrecked. But... Our caravan hands almost got completely wrecked. So there's that part to it. Uh, hit points are still being worked on, of course. Going through Moorland. Actually, that's going to be a really good place for quests. We have a long way to go, though. I might be heading off to lunch soon-ish, though. Uh, but what else? We'll do a few more quests. We'll see if we survive longer in this person's caravan. This person campaign with Brendley. We'll see how we do. Oh, I forgot to get the level up. What are we going to give? Underdog is just key right here, I think. We don't even have sword mastery. This is horrible. <laughs> I need the underdog. That's that's important. And we go for that melee build. The defense is getting pretty decent. And I think I just need to keep going for that fatigue. That was a little bit laggy. Oh, there's an ad starting any second now just to warn you guys. But I do like this prediction thing, as long as it stops ruining my frames, I don't mind it. Another big city in a row, so the this is, seems like a very good area to start farming quests, start getting some money, maybe eventually getting a new bro. But that's sort of what I'm worried about. Is if we can't increase the roster size, don't know how we're going to get new bros. I think we need to test to see what happens at roster size 1400. I know we abandoned a quest, which hurts our renown badly. Come on, game. 1218. Holy crap. That cut our renown so far down. You lose like 100 renown if you give up on a quest. It's really bad. No... Stupid. Stupid champion. There's no way I'm fighting you, buddy. I will steal from the cart. I'll get 12 medical supplies. Thank you very much. Also, I don't need to heal anymore. I'm also almost at my destination, though. Uh, let's get some more salvage, I think. Oh, maybe I keep the buckler. Actually, I should keep the buckler. Yeah, let's fix up this inventory. Uh, one more city over and we'll be fine. I think we'll get him ambushed again, though. This area looks pretty dangerous for... Look at all those footprints. No? No? 
No, we survive! And get a giant stack of XP. Longer caravans are the better caravans. We're doing well. We're doing well, chat. Opportunity for another caravan. Nice. Opportunity for Hex. No, because we learned. We're learning from our mistakes, boys. That is a horrible idea. So we shall keep going. What's the prediction this time? Uh, well, we'll see what sort of fight we get. Depends on where these um, barbarians are going to be coming from. We actually have a caravan that has full of caravan hands. Yes, it's not a completely empty caravan. Oh, that feels good. No, we're not doing the Hexen. No way. <laughs> we did that earlier in the stream and got bodied. We did like a Hexen fight on day three or something stupid. And they had two Hexen, three dire wolves that were frenzied, and a singular baby knock. Against a level four freaking lone wolf. It was stupid. We got destroyed. No, she can't charm us. So the good thing about player characters is player characters are immune to charms and desertion. Did she charm me and make babies? A baby what? <laughs> no. I said a baby knock. So that's tier one. Tier one knocks is what I say when I say it's a baby knock. The knocks it does. The ones that eat corpses. They're just tier ones. Yeah, no, we got completely destroyed. Frenzy Darwolves are no joke. Hey, Brigrins! That's an easy fight. But we will predict, just in case. I think, still think this is going to be a washout. A baby snowman, of course, says Nagas. Yes, yes, of course. Yeah, no, I think this is a um, an easy one. Why is there a banner or a horse on a stick? Yeah, the brigands have weird banners. We had a banner earlier um, where two dogs' heads were on a stick. This one's a horse head on a stick. Yeah, brigands are just weird. I don't know why. How are we doing, Snow Bros Uber? Welcome to the stream again. Um, we're doing all right. I think we're on the like fifth run or something. Our axe run did really well with the buckler. Um, we're on the run with the crossbow and the sword. Uh, I mean, we've had a few complications, I've sent you a lot of logs, and I've got a few gripes about things where I'm like, it really shouldn't be like that, but other than that, we're enjoying it. Here, have some snowballs from me, says Stefan. Oh, generous, generous donation. Unless snow loses. <laughs> and then Stefan gets all the snowballs. Now, with all the caravan hands we have, I really don't think this is going to be a loss. We really have a lot of caravan hands. It's like four caravan hands, three donkeys, I'm assuming. DM me that feedback sometime, please. No worries, Uber. No worries. I'll have to remember at the end of the stream. We are finishing up soon-ish, probably within the hour. But we'll see what we can do. No worries, man. But three donkeys, four caravan hands. I, I predicted it. Nice. That's a good prediction. And it's only seven enemies, we'll be fine. But the game is running a bit low on its frames because of the stupid prediction thing. There we go, it should jump back up. Nice. Okay, any scary weapons? There's two shovels. A bunch of black that I can't see through, of course, because the bush makes me impossible to see. Uh, let's go for a 65. Destroyed his kidney. But unfortunately didn't kill him because of reduced damage. Yeah, eat all the shovels. <laughs> I mean, there's famed shovels in the game, but we're always sad there's no famed pitchforks. Always makes us sad to see that. Okay, so they've got three range, three melee. What's their fourth one? Fourth range, three melee, of course. Shovels are oversized unhold spoons. No, they're perfectly unhold sized spoons. <laughs> the
They're baby unhold spoons. But yes, I do agree, Master Axel. That is what they are used for. The only thing they're good for is just the spoons. Alright, let's just have fun with the crossbow today, I guess. Uh, do we get a lucky shot? Apparently not. Not enough for a kill, but enough for some caravan to steal the kill, I think. No, he misses? No way. And then we get baffled. Of course! On a 23. I think the caravan should be able to kill him this turn, though. There's no way he misses. Well, my frames are fine, but sometimes I can't see the rocks being thrown. Oh, there's the kill. And a stun. Okay, well done. I'll take it. There we go. There we go. I'm going to switch. You know what? Screw it. Maybe I just stay on crossbow. Fair enough. Um, I'll take the kill. I'll take it. I'm not sure what's slowing down the game, though. That's weird. The prediction thing's... I don't think it's going still to ruin the game. Hmm. Maybe it's like with a thing we've had in the past, where I just have to, like, restart the game to make it not have a problem. I might test out that theory. Because it's a bit of a slideshow at the moment, and I do apologize for that. Uh, but in terms of the poachers, I think I just chased them down. We had fun with the crossbow, we got ourselves one kill, which is good. Every kill counts. Windows update behind the scenes? I mean, that's also possible. I can't see if there's any Windows updates happening. Or if there's like a Steam update. Usually those things don't happen. Reverting my settings. Oh, that's also possible, too. Like, Discord keeps doing it to me. And it's annoying. But, should be fine. Let's see. Switch to that beautiful sword. And start bullying these guys. I'll jump in the middle. Recover. And then next turn, destroy. There's only one archer that's not accounted for, and I think that's the one in the south. I hope the caravan hand deals with him. Caravan hand, go get him. He's beating up your donkeys. You have an obligation. No, he's going north. Okay, no, dagger, no, don't go north. <laughs> go south. <laughs> Deal with that one. Could be a memory leak. Oh, it's possible. I'm not the biggest computer wizard out there, so... I'm sure it's something. But it usually doesn't tank this bad. Oh my goodness. Which is why I'll just restart the game after this fight. And then it'll probably be happy. Okay, you're finally going south, buddy. Finally realized you need to go south. Good job. Ah, oh, he takes my kill, of course. 60%. That's fine. I should be able to get this kill. Easy. There's no way this guy does enough damage to kill him. As long as they hit both of my 95s, 84s. 89. Why did I jinx that? As long as I hit both of them, I can get this kill. Flippin' heck! Oh, I had that kill, and then Dagger's gonna steal it. Oh, yep, he steals it. Double 57s, and I can't do a double 89. Mm. <laughs> of course, of course. Alright, it's over. Well done, chat, on predicting that one. That was actually a nice, easy fight. Uh, let's finish that prediction, and I'll quickly restart the game. There we go. Uh, quick save. Never hurts.
There we go. Yay to my 10 snowballs. One says Nakas. Nice. Nice. Okay. Anything in the background being upset at me? Doesn't seem to be. Task manager, you happy? Probably not. OBS does like to take my CPU. That's probably what it is. Yeah, that's that's what it is. With all the prediction stuff, I don't know why, but it steals so much CPU with OBS. That makes no sense. Fair enough. Thanks, OBS, for constantly making things difficult. And I even, like, reduced OBS's influence on things. New PC will fix that? Hopefully. Hopefully, Uber Bagel. That's the thing. We're hyping up the new PC. And if the new PC can't handle it, it's like, well, then OBS is just a piece of crap. <laughs> I mean, no matter how good your PC is, there are things out there that will crash even the best PCs. But I will do my best to build as good of a PC as I can um, with what's available to me here in Australia. And obviously cost-effective. I'm a person who doesn't like spending too much for things that I can get for a decent price. So I will do what I can. And I am keen to try and get this PC upgraded. Even though it's a good PC, there's nothing wrong with my PC. It's just OBS demands a lot, streaming demands a lot, and Battle Brothers doesn't really demand that a lot. But I guess it's just the combination effect of everything wanting so much from my PC. But apparently the game seems to be a little bit happier with the reset. I will steal the old man's ring. Definitely. Definitely. Thank you, my man. I will re relieve you of that for the money. Appreciate the effort. But yeah, apparently my frames are happy now again with the restart. Uh, where are we headed? Oh, that is a long way away. Okay. We're gonna get ambushed again. I can see it happening. They got ambushed. Hello, barbarians. Are you not after us? Six versus seven? I still think a barbarian fight would be... Oh, they're getting chased. Ha! Ha! Sucks to be them. Oh, that's interesting. On a caravan, if I go to very, fa very fast speed, which is four times, then I pause the game, and I come back to it, it goes back to two times instead of four times, which I was on previously. But that's probably how caravans are hard-coded just to be normally at two times speed. Anyways, we didn't actually get attacked. I'm a little bit surprised, but Sankai, we are out of food. Does Brendley care? No, but he probably will care in a little bit, so we probably should feed him. Also, the Amber Shards are cheap. Ho ho ho! I'll take that. Any upgrades? Straw Hat? Are we going Straw Hat? We are going Straw Hat. Shredder with a Straw Hat. It's happening. Never knew Shredder was a farmer. But apparently so. I think I go shield. And nothing else. Yeah, I can't get anything else. I think our days of crossbow are over. I'll keep it in the back pocket in case of emergencies. But I think it's sword and shield time, boys. Sword and board. Uh, we have a quest available, another caravan, I mean, I'll take it. 
If I'm gonna keep doing caravans, it's the only way to keep our guy alive. It makes sense. I also need to make sure we can start camping for experience. Yeah, let's start training. Let's put some work in, boys. Now we've got it. This is a three-day caravan. We've got to get ambushed in this one. No, I don't care about that. I'm fine without the joining the campfire. I think the joining the campfire events are kind of a waste. As much as the lore is fun and the the conversation is fun, there's a lot better events that could happen, in my opinion. But that's just my opinion. Especially if you're doing things like cultists, you really want better events happening. Or even like the lone wolf one. Okay! Well, this is a prediction. And it really depends on what type of wolves those are. Remember, chat, when it says dire wolves, it will not specify if it's a frenzied or a non-frenzied. I'm assuming it's non-frenzied, because it's four of them. It's up against a caravan. But if it is frenzied, we're screwed. If it's normal, we're fine. I think we can deal with it. Caravan hands are quite capable. We might lose a caravan hand, but a sword and shield, we can deal with dire wolves. I mean, you saw us lose to them once before, but that was really bad luck. Oh man, I could have some bad luck. Maybe. We'll have to see how it goes. But you guys, with your predictions, hopefully you get it right. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Can I pull out a win on four dire wolves? We'll technically outnumber them. If they get some lucky hits, it could hurt. We've got decent armor, decent shield. If they get confident off the caravan hands, if they destroy them and the donkeys. Maybe. We'll have to see. I will jump in. I know there's not much time left on the voting, which is kind of how I want to keep it. But let's, uh... Let's jump in and have a see. Obviously they will outspeed. We have three caravan hands and three donkeys. That is a little bit less than I was expecting. Oh, I thought we had a... No, no, we don't have the four from the last caravan. This caravan is a little bit different. Um, there is no frenzies. That is good news. There is no frenzies. But I do want to get to that high ground. We have two sword and boards. Oh, we got a sword and board, a sword, and a mason board. Interesting. Can I dodge this hit? I can dodge a 23. Nice. Stefan says scammed. I know, if it was frenzied, we would definitely lose this. But there are no frenzies. And now that we have a high ground, the Karenhan has a high ground. One of them is probably going to go for the donkey. Nope, one of them's going for me. Eight percent. Oh, there he goes. Okay. Oh, the shield bash. Smart play. That top direwolf is going to die. These two on the bottom could do some work. I'm going to focus on this guy. He misses the donkey by rolling a 100. I get hit. I get hit on a 13? On a 12? Oh no, chat. They're going to get confident off the donkeys. Shield bash again. That Karen hand's going out of his mind. I missed an 80. Okay. Chat. Chat. That's not good. One shots the caravan hand with a headshot. Chat. 
We're running out of caravan hands. And I only just got my first direwolf kill. That's not good. That one's going to die to the caravan hand. We're going to lose our donkey. I also don't have that much body armor. If I take a bad hit, I need to go here. Oh, they're confident. And they're rolling on 20s. That's not bad. Hit him! Hit him! I had two, two, two 84s! Does losing the quest count as a loss? No, no, no. The, it's losing the fight. If we win the fight and lose the quest, it counts as a win for the prediction. Because it's all about the fight. Oh my god! No! We lost everything. And we got hit on a 5%. So we got baffled. So we can do less damage. Of course. Screw it. I'm going for a repost. Screw this. Repost, shield wall. It's... I'm going into the end game here. I miss a 90%, of course. Come on. Yes! Let's freaking go. Oh, my shield might break. I'm going to go for another repost. With these 5%, I think I've got this. Whoa, that hurts. I take an injured shoulder. Good kill. A second 5% to the... I'm done. Thanks for coming to the stream chat. This was lovely. I'm keen for lunch. Son of a... Why? A second five freaking percent. Oh. Well, whoever predicted this one should have bet more against his right Hey. hey. Hey, whoever predicted in the, um, the nose, you guys are going to get a lot of free snowballs there. So congratulations. Oh, boy. Thanks for taking the pain for entertainment, Uber. That's the usual. No issues there. I went for the super hard stuff. I knew you guys would enjoy it. Oh, man. That's why I'm eventually going to get a mod that counts my 5%. Counts the stupid 5%, man. It's going to happen. Better get more food. Your mood is showing. The rations are too low. <laughs> Lockhead. Thank you, man. Next Lockheed. Yep. It's showing a little bit. It's showing. Oh. <laughs> No, it's all good. Man, oh man, the, the luck. We've had, I think we had one luck that, one round that had good luck. Okay, so the one run was the axe run today. That run had insanely good luck. I loved that run. Every single other run today has been destroyed. Have a little stream overlay counter, says Uber Bagel. I'm going to possibly get an integration. I've been talking with um, Enduriel and possibly going to get a few little mods from him. And including one that has maybe the counters for how good my RNG and how bad my RNG is during a stream. And I know you guys would be frothing to get that. Frothing to get us a wonderful counter that shows all of our bad 95s and all of our good 5% and all of their good 5% and all that. I'd love to be able to get that. And I know you guys would be keen for it. 
I have other few little ideas in the works as well. We've got definitely lots of things planned for this new version of Legends. Enduriel said it's a lot easier to make mods for things. And yeah, I'm keen. I've got a few cool ideas. Um, I've got a great idea for some new YouTube videos once my um, playthrough series are going. I've got plans to try and up my stuff and some crazy ideas as well. I'm super keen for streams. I'm glad we had fun with the Lone Wolf today. Uh, we might do Lone Wolf ne week, next week, depending on how things go. If not, then we might start a new, like, more committed late game run with including you guys and some spins. But seeing how things go on the modding side of things, on the update side of things, we'll have to see what happens. But we, <laughs> we definitely had a lot of fun getting wrecked today. But we had some really good times too, like, goodness me, that axe run was so much better than I expected. I can't believe we did so well with that axe. And it all got taken away on such an unlucky situation. But it was so good too. But I'm glad you guys enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed the gambling as well. That was lots of fun. I mean, it's not real gambling. It's just, it's fake money. So don't get too, too carried away and too worried about it. But the gambling was lots of fun with the predictions. A few little things we got thrown for a hook, like that fight we expected to win and you guys got completely through on it. But yeah, totally lots of fun. Um, we will go off on a raid after this. So... You guys can get even more snowballs to gamble with. I'm sure you guys would love to have some more of that. But yeah, totally keen for more. Definitely for the future. And thank you guys for the modders, Uber, and the group of modders that are constantly working on these updates. Can't thank them enough for all the hard work they do and making this possible. So totally keen for that. And I'm also going to maybe get some Twitch integration in the future. Some more things for you guys to play around with the game. Oh, the, the list is endless for the things that we can get done here on stream and for YouTube. So it's all in due time. And thank you guys for your patience and your enjoyment. But yeah, congratulations to the modders. And yeah, thanks you guys for coming out to the stream. And I'll quickly find ourselves a raid. Have a wonderful sleep. If I don't catch you guys tomorrow, which is the peasant militia run, you will be able to spin tomorrow. Uh, we might do predictions tomorrow. I don't know if I'll feel like doing it because of how laggy it gets the com the um, the computer every now and again. Endless possibilities is endless, Saron. Yeah, endless, endless. Um, but yeah, we've got the Peasant Militia run tomorrow, which is doing really well. We're getting close to late game. If I don't see you tomorrow, please have a wonderful week ahead. Uh, we're still playing the Tuesday casual multiplayer stream as well. And obviously the YouTube videos, but unfortunately they're a little bit behind because of the stupid corruption. I've got to work on that. But regardless, um, oh, Blood Angel Veronis, welcome to the stream. I'm so sorry. <laughs> we are finishing up. Um, but we are doing tomorrow with the uh, Peasant Militia run and all that. But yeah, if you want to catch up on the VOD, we had lots of fun. Um, the VOD will be up in just a second. And I'll be making the VOD for this afternoon as well. No, actually for tomorrow on the, on the VOD channel. But the VOD for the stream will be up immediately once the stream's done here on Twitch as it usually is. So yeah, hopefully you can catch up on some of that fun stuff. Um, but let's go celebrate a nice raid for some free points. Uh, who's available at the moment? Do, 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 do. Is that going to work? There we go. Sweet. So, uh, once again, thanks for popping by today. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm just going to have some nice lunch. Uh, thank you, Google Flag Earth, for the uh, follow. Appreciate the support. Um, and hope to catch you in the next ones. And any second now, the raid will be ready to go. There we go. Okay. Have a wonderful time, guys. See you guys soon, and thanks for popping out.